It's going to go. It's going to take it just a minute or two. Okay. And we're going to be live. We're live, Neely. Say hello. Say welcome to the bait show. Let's just pick one out. You want to pick one out? Well, we're a little early, guys, and I uh, brought Bait Girl. She has been wanting to get on the bait show all day. What? Can you say bait show? Bait show. Bait show. We got to pick one out. We got to take one out, yeah. Yeah. We're going to uh, we're gonna get some stuff what out here. What is this one? That is a wild peanut. Put that back. We got to wait for some people to get in here. We got to wait for people to get in here. Um... There he is. There's Sean Law. He's in here. The first guy in. I'm a little early. I said I was going to do 8 o'clock. Um, but uh, it's actually going to be uh, right now. So I've got... Hey, you have tape on this box. I know there's tape on that box. It's to keep it together. But I got uh, Bait Girl with me. Bait Man Jr. He's in the house. Call of Duty and up. And uh, we're going to unbox some stuff tonight. And then... Uh, I don't know. We're just going to talk. Uh, I've got a little new streaming software in here. So uh, if you make a super Can chat, see if this pops up. Boom! Sean La done it. Check it out. Kenny Powers, dollar dollar bills, y'all. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Sean La, for the super chat. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, but thank you if you subscribe. Something like this comes up. Let me know if y'all saw that. But. Uh, Something should pop up when there's a super chat. Sean La, appreciate that. Ten dollar make you holla. Neely says make sure you like and subscribe. So anyway, Neely, you wanna you wanna take some stuff out? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, what do we got in this box? We have this one. This one's like we... Alright, well you gotta show people. This yeah. is a this is the tiny Daddy, look at this Tiny one. wild peanut. Daddy, look at this one. So I had the bigger one. Daddy, look at this one. I know. I okay. see. It's so awesome. So this one is. Uh, the green out. Whoa. Uh, this is the JDM style. This is a really, really small crankbait. Whoa. Neely's so excited getting these baits out. Whoa. Let's see that one. Let's show them. Yeah. Another. Kind of got that wiggle warp look style that, look, man. but it's got a really long it lip. Is really small Baby. body so you guys that uh do a lot of finesse cranking or it's really tough late it fall or she's so loud or early winter and uh gonna give a shout out to my uh my guy mark that's my jdm guy sent me this neely calm down girl goodness she's so loud and my guy mark sent these to me i didn't expect them uh appreciate it mark uh, he's a guy I get a lot of my JDM stuff got from. Up. Right, that one. Yep, like it. But I got two colors I didn't have before in the bigger one. This and the small one. This one's for you guys oh, that are. You guys that are fire tiger guys, check this guy out right here. I would love to see them bring this to the U.S. market. I think it sell really good. Uh, it's got about the body size is really about the size of like a Bandit 100. It's got a deeper bill you, on it. How do you fix it? And, uh, and then here we go. Check out the blue craw, man. I love this color right here. I uh, love that color. My Potomac guys, East Coast guys, y'all would probably really, really like this. So that is this is like too big. That is the Dava. It's made by Dava. Dava works. Tiny peanuts. Yeah, tiny peanuts. So pretty cool. Now, which one's your favorite, Nils? That one? Yeah. What color is that? Red, orange. Red, and orange. Yeah. Good job. Learning your colors from the bait man. Yeah. All right. Are you ready to unbox that Super Six sack from Six Cents? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Get another one now. All right. We're going. So this month, Ooh. Six Cents Super Six sack just came in. I'm not the first guy to unbox it, but I'm the first guy to do it with the bait girl. First guy. So that counts for something. All right, what we got in here, Nils? What are you playing with? Look what I found. What do you think about that? That's for your. That's for your fishing rod. Yeah, that's for it, your. It covers your fishing rod. So this is the, this is the rod sleeve. This one's blue. 
Yep, yeah, there's baits in there. Uh, this is like 10 bucks. Yeah. These are some of the best rod sleeves uh, out there. So uh, just my good. opinion. Uh, not really compared to anything, but they protect very good. Hooks don't penetrate through them. Uh, they're so nice. So. Guys, make sure you smash that like button for me. And make if you're new to the channel, I'll smash that, that subscribe button. button. Do you ever notice when I get quiet, she gets quiet? No. No? You don't notice that? No. No? You need a haircut? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. You yeah. want to see the next thing? Yeah. I got to check out with... Uh, I'm checking out the chat. There might be a little delay, but it's kind of cool because I can... Uh, thumbs up, subscribe. I, I can see that button. in here. Um, I'm checking out... I got some new tools on the stream thing, so uh, I just refreshed uh sean super chat so if that popped up yep matt that is neoprene uh what's up tankster 2146 uh thank you darius she's a handful is what she is so uh got 55 guys in here we got to get this thing up we got to get it you know we got to have 200 viewers in here tonight at some point i'll stream for a while i may have to take her in here in a little bit but all right what what's the next bait we got my yeah, what's what's the next bait? What do you think about that? This one. That one's green. That's that green. one's green? Yeah. It's actually green pumpkin blue. So it's good. Oh, we got to show everybody. Yay. So Divine Shaky Worm, if you got the Baitman box uh, for the summer, you got some of these in there as well. Green pumpkin blue, Divine Shaky Worm. Now this is the 6.3, a little bit smaller one. Great color. I mean, it works everywhere. Uh, that's in your premium Super 6 sack. And you know you can use that code uh, Bakeman Super Six to save ten dollars if you've not that got one of these. Um, so, what else do we got in here, Nils? What is that? Oh, what is that? That was purple. That's purple. Yeah. You like that? Yeah. That is the, this one is the uh, Six Cent Speed Glide. It was a uh, So it's lot. similar body to the swimming crank, but it's the Speed Glide. It's not really heavy. You could throw it, uh, you know, like on a medium action rod. Uh, it's got treble hooks. Whatever you throw a square bill crank bait on, you can throw this bait. Um, works pretty good. It works high up in the column. Um, it doesn't sink real fast. So a lot of guys think it sinks. It, it just doesn't sink that much. It's, it's great in the upper column. Really cool bait. Um, it's an older one. What's up, Eric Filburn? What's up, Hunter? All right, so that's in your Super 6 box. Neela, what else is in here? You got to get something. Yeah. She's yeah. playing with uh, Bass Mafia tabs for my boxes. Whoa, what is that? I saw your face. Yeah. Well, you got to show them. Oh, we don't want to see your yeah. tongue. What am I Let's see your tongue. Show them your tongue. You got to point to the camera and go. Oh, my gosh. No, what no. all is in there? So, the next one no. is... The uh, the hybrid crank. So this was a new bait this spring this year. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Wow! So this is uh, shad burst. Going to be a good color burst. for this fall. Uh, it's got some chrome in it. You can see how that reflects. Uh, goes about two three foot. Uh, you can burn this thing uh, under the water. Uh, swimming crank's a really good bait. A lot of people had a lot of success on this thing. So. Um, all right, what were you oohing and on uh, over that? What else did you find? Oh, you're also going to get some 4 aught flipping hooks, which is actually my favorite size flipping hook. Uh, there are plenty of guys that will flip in the fall, uh, especially on river systems uh, or lakes that don't go up and down. Lake Gunnersville, Chickamauga, punching grass, flipping grass, flipping mats. Going to have to have a good flipping hook. These are really good. I really like them. Um, and since you're flipping, some six cents peg stops. You can never have enough peg stops. In fact, I think these are the best made, and the tactical bassing guys like these too. That's all it needs to be said. And then, hey, what, what we got in here last? What's in here? There's one more thing in here. It is purple. Good job. We have a crush. 50X and Rayburn Ghost. Let me get this one out of the package. I've, I've got one of these. I this is a great time know. of year to have this color right here because of all the little shad and stuff in the water. Oh yeah, Rayburn Ghost. Very transparent. I really like transparent style crankbaits uh, this time Bye. of year. 
nearly. She's all about that like, share, and subscribe and so. Maybe anyway, up Chad Anderson, good like question. It. When do we fish the speed glide? Mm -hmm. I like it for schooling fish. That was picking you can one. fish it up and down a bank like guys would fish a normal glide funny. bait or around boat docks. But uh, the one I've got, it's a Spanish bone. It's an older one. It's like two years old. And I actually keep it tied on for schooling fish and just throw it out there and make about three cranks and just kind of let it flutter. It's and it's, so it works really good it. for schoolers for some reason. I like that thin profile. Make sure you hit that thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Boy, you're learning. You gonna get me found? I think Bateman Jr. might have just been replaced. You know what those are? Yeah. What are those? They go in Daddy's plastic boxes. They're yeah. dividers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, let's put these baits back in this sack, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, guys, I'm going to do the Six Cents Frog giveaway uh, after the stream or something. Uh, I forgot my cell phone inside, so it's going to be hard to do that. Okay, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to give away... I've got like five months worth of Super Six Sacks. So let's see, that's five times, that's about $250 worth of six cent stuff that I'm going to have a mega giveaway with uh, as soon as I hit 15,000 subscribers. We're going to do a mega giveaway of six cent stuff. Okay, so let's open the next one. I'll put all those together and throw in some goods. Um, open the next one together. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button or tell a buddy. Neely, you're talking way too much. They can't hear me because you're yelling. You ready to go inside? She don't want to go in. We're going to have to deal with ne Neely talking tonight because she's, she's going to take it over. So I'll answer a few questions. Does Bait Girl get Mountain Dew as well? She does not get Mountain Dew. Yes. What do you like to drink, Neely? Mm. Orange juice? You like orange juice? What else? I don't want... Kool-Aid? Yep. What, what, what's your favorite color Kool-Aid? Purple. Purple. Uh -uh. Everybody loves them a little purple drink, especially purple Kool-Aid. My favorite Kool-Aid is actually, uh, it's like, uh, what, what's that one mom makes that has the uh, shark on it? Yeah. It's got a shark on it. It's really good. The Vega Frog is legit. Also excited for the Spro Popping Frog 70 soon to come up. Yeah, man, I, I like Spro Frogs really well. I think overall, I haven't seen anything negative on the Vega Frog. You know, it doesn't matter to me. You know, I don't own Six Cents Fishing, but it's always cool when you're associated with the company or whatnot, and Maybe everybody seems to be liking the product. The product. Um, Make sure do I think it's the best frog in the world? No, it's absolutely <laughs> a top five frog, in my opinion. Spro is just so good uh, for the price. It's hard to beat them. And, and the Spro uh, Bronze Eye is kind of the standard everybody wants their frog to at least be at, so... How much have I missed? Well, I was supposed to. I started early, Sean. Uh, all you missed was uh, these little bitty. The that was my red. The, the tiny wild peanut by Dive. Well, these are itty bitty. I, I wish I had a crankbait. Yeah, let's compare this. Neely, what are you doing? That was my blue. That was blue. No, that was orange. Yeah. I'll get this one out of the package. I wish I had. I don't have one close to me. I got so much stuff in the bait room I'm running out of room and I've rearranged and I've got baits over there but you can tell by my hand how tiny that tiny peanut is it's definitely made out of a different style plastic but it's got a pretty long bill for the body it's gonna dive what are you doing it's gonna dive kind of deep <laughs> don't be spitting that out over here okay do you hear me if you spit that out on the table then we're gonna go inside She's a sweetheart. She likes to bend them rules. Bend the rules. So. All right, here's a question. Wacky worm, O-ring or none? If you're using Z-Man uh, stuff, no O-ring. Uh, I use an O-ring 90% of the time. Matter of fact, I like to use two of them uh, so my hook can come out at the right angle. But you're hot? It is hot. You want to go inside? No? Stay out here? Yeah. It's no, hot in the baby room. Mm -hmm. It is kind of like a tiny wiggle wart. Uh, my best comparison is like a little, it's like a deep diving uh, 
Model A, the small Model A. It's like a deep diving one. That's what it was. Yeah. I'm making a robot. There are two. There are negative reviews on TW, but the first few reviews Daddy, on highly anticipated products are negative on TW Daddy, by I'm unknown name. Robot. You know what? It, it's kind of funny you say that. There is a lot of. Daddy, I just know from robot. what I know, there are a lot of companies that leave Daddy, negative reviews robot. about other companies, and it's it's kind of sad. And I say that because Daddy, they're not a big company, but this company Daddy. admitted to me that. American well, basically, robot. we always give these people a negative review because they talk crap about hey, us. Robot. Nice. It hey, is I'm what it is. What? Oh, that's great. Yeah. Uh, looking for a good two to three hundred dollar hey, rod. Make sure subscribe. They'll give a thumbs up and subscribe. I promise. You gonna let me talk for a second? Uh, Dan the man wants to know. Looking for a two to three hundred dollar rod to pair with my Tatua SV. Any suggestions? Uh -oh. There's a lot out there to three hundred dollars. Uh, first, I need to know what you're gonna do with it. Okay, uh, one I really want to buy is a jackal uh, poison. Uh, the jackal Ardina rod is very very sensitive, from what I'm to told. So, looks like we're up to 103 viewers, guys. Thanks so much. Make sure you smash uh, that like button. Uh, share the stream if you're new in here make sure you subscribe as well uh, but YouTube likes it when y'all smash the like button it really likes it when I talk about the Googans but I really don't want to talk about the Googans with uh, big girl in here she might start wanting to watch them or something so, uh, I have a Grant Sean Tinsworth it is a good frog I had it on the stream the other night during the frog show it's uh, it's definitely different so uh, hey bait man just wondering you have more than one real uh, for if you have more than one reel for one rod and change them out for different applications, it's a great question, Randy. And yes, I do. Um, like I've got a uh, it's a Sticks Fishing Hybrid Stick, and it's seven foot medium action, but it's a great all around rod. Well, if I'm throwing a crankbaits and stuff that's lighter, I like using my Tatula SD. <laughs> Now, if I'm throwing so spinner baits, uh, stuff I'm not worried about breaking off, not a little heavier line, a I'll use a my Shimano Daddy, SLX. Let him get a mustache. Yep, yeah, I'll use my Shimano SLX on the same <laughs> rod. Um, so yes, you definitely can switch up your uh, Daddy, use different I'm rails on the worried. same rod. Just Daddy, depends on what worried. application. If you got, uh, Daddy, you want candy? You are absolutely not having candy. Not happening. You're so hyper right now. Um, but yes, uh, worm jig bottom contact. I would go with the Poison Ardina uh, or a, a higher end Dobbins uh, Champion a XP. Uh, X Pride's a really good rod. You can get in that 240, 250 range. Uh, but dude, I love the dial with the two elite rods. They're really good. And Douglas makes a good rod. So, man, there's a lot of good stuff in that two to $300 range. But if you're wanting bottom tack, contact and don't want to buy nrx i would get the ardina it is nasty sensitive great great question uh hunter nixon do i prefer a straight shank or ewg for texan rig w ribbon tail worm i like a straight shank uh round bend that's my favorite uh the six cents jugular hook is really really good my all-time favorite is an owner uh it's called an owner z neck uh it's a black hook and i cannot find them I think the part number is 5191. If you got them, let me know. We'll do some bait trading. You getting out? Okay. New Zodius. I would like to have a new Zodius. I love the older ones. One of my favorite rods. Great price. Great price rod for how it's built. A lot of people didn't like it because it didn't have a hook hanger, which I don't get that because I don't use a hook hanger. Oh, that is cool. Let's see. Travis Ste Stearman, are you going to be on ba BTL? I don't know. Uh, I'd love to get on Bass Talk Live if mm -hmm. one I could get through the. Purple. Purple. Yeah. You love purple. I love purple too, Neely. Mm -hmm. Yo, the SLX MGL is amazing. You got to get one. I would love to get one. Uh, Daddy. I got to pay some bills. Is what's got got to happen. Okay. Yeah. Hey, don't scream no more. Understand? Okay. okay. Gotta get that screaming out. That, that little girl screaming, woo, gets me. Uh, 
What's up, Bo Judd? Glad you made it in. Real Killer Fishing. Thanks for joining, guys. Make sure y'all smash the like button. Um, the weight on the deep peanut. Uh, I don't know what the Mighty D2R is, but the weight on the deep peanut. See if I can read the Japanese. Uh, no, I can't. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, 5.2 grams. Uh, so for our people that are weed heads in here, they can tell you how heavy 5.2 grams is. Or maybe a pharmacist. Um, it's very light. I can put it this way. Um, in my archery days, I shot a 100 grain broadhead. So it's lighter than a broadhead. It's very light. You're going to have to throw it on a 6 to 8 pound test line. Probably going to be a spinning reel kind of deal. Oh, let's see. Do I love my kids, but Neely's been in this hyper thing all day. And uh, last time she was on the bait show, she was kind of quiet. Now she's just going... BTL with Randy last week, he did make some good points. Uh, here's here's a, here's something I want to say about that. I like Block It and all that, but it, I watched it back. And to be honest with you... I thought it was just a big plug for Fish the Moment YouTube channel. Because he kept saying, oh, I'm doing this Fish the Moment. you got to get on Fish the Moment. Dude, I, I like Johnny's channel. It's great. And maybe Rainy did some partnering for some reason. Because, hey, all these pros are wanting to be YouTubers. And the YouTubers want to be pros. And if you give fishermen something, I promise you they'll ruin it. And all I heard was subscribe to Fish the Moment. Fish the Moment. I'm doing Fish the Moment. I'm doing Fish the Moment. Yeah, I'll talk about those on Fish the Moment. I'm like, Randy, we get it, bud. You're working with a YouTuber. You're cool. I like Block It. Again, I don't agree with him for the most part, but I do agree the price is ridiculous. But when you're a pro fisherman, you got to do what you got to do. And, if, and I hate to say it. I hate to say it. If you're an electronics company, a Lowrance, a Hummingbird Garmin, how do you get behind Randy Block It? He basically said... You're, Technology is trying cheating. No, you cannot sit in my lap right now. You gonna go see Bubs? What's mommy? Mommy's at work. She's going at the pig. Get some. She's going to get some. Oh, uh, there you go, fishing. Hey, Daddy. Dad. What? She's going to get some McDonald's. She's gonna go get some McDonald's. Oh, okay, did you tell her to get McDonald's? Oh, thank you. I need some McDonald's too. Mm -hmm. I know what you're talking about now. Uh, fishing for LMT, whatever that stands for. I want to say largemouth. Um, that's a good. <gasps> mommy's home. You hear a car? Mommy's home. Okay. She gets so excited when mommy's home. Listen, mommy's home. Mommy's home. Jump up and down. Mommy's home. You going bye bye? Bye, Neely. Bye. I love you. Bait girl is now with. Her mom. She gets so excited when mommy's home. So mommy just pulled up. And uh, anyway, I'll get back on track. Uh, Kitek does make a great finesse jig. So Kitek, uh, missile baits, they make those great little micro jigs. Um, Eric Filmer, Randy contradicted himself at the end of the interview. It's about the technology and the fact he's struggling. I agree, Eric. Uh, you're a Kentucky Lake guy. Uh, you know how hard it was before side scan and all that but there's a lot of us that put in the work you got to put on work on the new units too it's not like you turn these things off and they go you got it you go you get to go it picks the area out for you and says these fish you can catch them you actually have to get behind the wheel of these uh, new graphs and electronics and learn the ins and outs it's not easy um and, and to be honest, I think some of these pros feel like they're above having to learn stuff. And you see it. Oh, okay. I love you, Neely. I'm not gonna lie. When when that little girl tells me she loves me back, that's that's about the best feeling in the world. So, dude, Kitek uh, makes jigs. Sean, I, I'll uh, I'll grab one out here in just a second. Now that I can, I'm freed up. If I can grab a Kitek jig for it. I 
just knocked all kinds of stuff off. I've got to get this room cleaned up. It's awful. And it's kind of got to where I don't even like the background back here. Um, I'm just going to go with straight. You'll see. But What's up, Josh Fitchwell? I'm glad you joined, man. We are up to 120 viewers. Let me know, guys, if y'all can see that viewer count in the top left. 122 viewers. And again, if you hit that dono, like Sean La, you can actually donate to the channel now through uh, PayPal if you want to. But y'all see what happens if you hit that super chat. Kenny Powers comes up and makes it rain. Um, but yeah, this is my kind of finesse jig box here. Uh, this is the Kitek jig. This, this is a Kitek tungsten football jig. And they are very small. If you see that, it's got a very small hook. And you can get away with throwing this on almost a medium action rod. Uh, you don't have to have much of a rod, really. A seven foot medium, medium heavy gets it done. Dude, on Del Hollow, Percy Priest, they smashed this thing. And Kentucky Lake. Tennessee River. Everyone's throwing those big bulky football jigs. A lot of times you slow drag this by. And what I've done is take a missile baits. Um, God dang, it's the missile baits craw crawfather. Cut it in half and thread it on there. And that's my killer Kitek combo. This is the color I love, that green pumpkin chartreuse. And then the green pumpkin purple man this one's nasty but y'all see it's got a little bitty hook but it's super sharp now um here's the missile baits um micro jig that's one of my colors the missile baits ike's micro jig like that it's got the football head the color is dill pickle yeah man it's uh good good stuff and Here's the round ball. It's almost like a Ned jig is what that is. But those Kitek jigs, man, they get bit. And I've got a prototype flipping jig. I don't think they've ever brought to market. Uh, so let's see. Let me get back on that chat here. Hook sets are free. Good evening, my man. What is up? Yes, uh, Eco Pro uh, is a good one. I'm trying to think who else. Uh, Queen Tackle makes a tungsten jig. Um... Now, most of those tungsten jigs aren't 100% tungsten. Uh, it's kind of infused with lead. So, Yep, Picasso actually has a great finesse uh, tungsten jig. I love their uh, three-wire hook keeper system. That's kind of my favorite. So, uh, Man, I forgot to share this stream over to Facebook. If you guys will bear with me for just a second, we'll get it over there. The computer may do something wild. For a second, hopefully it doesn't. I usually try to share my screen yep, over there on, has a great finish, on Facebook. Uh, jig. I love their uh, three-wire hook keepers, which is you know I gotta be loyal to my Facebook followers. That's how I started out uh, before I went over here to the YouTubes. I need to figure out how to make money on Facebook videos. Alright. So, one thing uh, I'll let you guys know. Uh, our our moderator here, Hella Bass. Yeah, man. Uh, he dominated this week uh in i believe it was the minnesota qualifier uh for the tbf national championship hella bass was the winner did hella awesome so congratulations uh to the moderator uh i'm really rooting for him that was awesome his his great looking mug was posted all over Bassmaster too so all right let's see here i need to get caught up on the chat here let me see if i can scroll back up so I love this new streaming setup because I can I don't have to pop the chat out. It does it automatically. Uh, it's got a lot of cool features built in as well. So Bass Patrol makes a good jig. Uh, Jet Skags. I haven't ever caught a fish on alert. Well, you know what? It took me a while too, and you, you can't catch them if you don't get your lure wet. Pretty simple. You got to keep casting. So. 
Dude, tiny pack of chunk is nasty. I would love to see a micro pack of slim. I think that would be dynamite or even a small stroker crawl, which is kind of what I did with that missile based crawl father. Uh, let's see. Bass Tech tungsten jigs, those are really good. Let's see here. What's up, Bass Monkey Fishing? Yeah, man, YouTube is the hardest social media platform, I think, to gain followers and subscribers. Uh, it was relatively easy for me on Facebook. Uh, I don't even try anymore on Facebook, but I used to, you know, I've had almost 10,000 followers uh, on my Facebook page for over a year now. Uh, I just don't try to grow it anymore. Um, now, a lot of those people convert over, but I would love to get more IG followers. I feel I lack in that department but I, I guess 4100 is not bad but I see I see guys that don't even fish got 15,000 so uh, uh, what kind of you can drop a link if you want to hella bass I don't care if it'll let you drop a link drop a link man um, I have not got any of the magnum zoom crawls yet um, how many guys really make it to the big leagues? Three percent or less? I would say one percent. You got to think of all the guys fishing all the tournaments. Uh, there's only a hundred spots on the elite series. That's it's a very very small percentage. I would say two to three percent is pretty realistic. And there are guys that qualify for the elite series and FLW tour and they don't accept the invite because they. They're not. They don't want to gamble with their money because that's what fishing tournaments is. It's it's a gamble. So, what's up, bait man? Looks like I'm feeling better. Yeah, man, I am feeling better. Uh, I'm ready to get back to work. I got, I got to make some money. So, I would like. I think for what I want to do with the channel next year and, and stuff, I'm really wanting to buy a drone really bad because I'm going to be able to break down specific parts of the lake. And using a drone will help that. Or if I want to talk about fishing buzz baits, I want to be able to show you from above the kind of places. And, and plus, I need it for TV show stuff as well. So, Facebook has a new streaming service. A lot of the gamers using it. I've seen that, but all right. Let me see if I can move this out a little bit. All right. I'm going right here. All right, Bass Bank Roberts Killer, what is up, man? What is my top four baits going in in the fall? Um, going in the fall, top water bait. And if I'm gonna get specific, I want a walking bait in the fall, a spinner bait, um, a soft jerk bait, and more than likely it's going to be a lipless crank bait. Uh, those four, I'm always going to have. Uh, if I got to throw a fifth out, I'm going to have some kind of, uh, you know, square bill crankbait. Uh, whether it's something that goes three to four to six foot. Um, but man, lipless, a square bill, a spinner bait. Um, got to have that. Yeah, bud, mods can drop links. Uh, let's see here. Uh, P-Line reached out to me and sent me a lot of line and hat stickers. Uh, how do I feel about partnering in my experience? Well, you know, um, partnering with companies, uh, for the most part, I've had great experiences. Um, you know, everything I, I've, I've done with Sixth Sense, uh, I'm very blessed and humbled about. Um, and, of course, you know, I like their stuff. I use it. It's not like they're just sending me stuff to put on YouTube, but I use their stuff in half for years. I mean... Um, you know, it's not also not like I don't throw Strike King and Spro and Mega Bass and all that stuff, and they understand that, and that's what makes our partnership really good. They understand what makes me tick, and what I'm going to talk about and convey to my viewers. I'm very transparent. I'm very realistic, um, and that's what makes our partnership great. If they come up and said, every time you talk, you have to have six cents come out of your mouth, then I wouldn't have done it. You know. It's like I said, they, I can talk about these Daiwa Wild Peanuts. I can talk about all these jigs. You know, it's cool. And if I'm fishing with them, it's cool too. Um, I would also say if you start to grow in popularity, and, and I'm going to be really honest with you guys, um, 
these companies have money. Um, don't sell your soul for 10% off. And it's okay when you're starting out if you're doing stuff for, you know, product or discount. I get that. But you, there comes a point where if you reach 10 to 20,000 subs on YouTube and you're getting lots of traction, uh, and it's unfortunate I've had to do it. Someone says, uh, hey, I'll send you a pack of two packs of turtles if you'll promote us. Uh, no, I'm not promoting your turtles. Uh, and this is a true story. This company reached out and said, man, your audience is awesome. We'll send you two packs of these turtles if you'll promote us. And I just said, I'm never going to use your product. I don't think it'll work. And I'm not going to tell my subscribers all that. And they said, you don't like free baits? And I just blocked them. Dude, I just, the, that was bad. So, Anyway, Chris, trying to go to Ontario for small. His friend told me to get some Berkeley flatworms. Yeah, dude, the flatworms is like ho the hottest bait in the country right now. It's crazy. So, Nate Summer, show me the new baits. Well, I don't really have a lot of new baits. I didn't really get anything new this week uh, other than these guys right here. Mm-hmm. The tiny peanut. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to send one to Milliken and see if he can catch a fish on a tiny crankbait. That looks like one of his Ozark specials, but... Oh, I forgot. I got some flea market finds. Check this out. Old school OG. Build Ants Fat A Fire Tiger. Uh, this is a flea market find. This was a good one. Actually... No, a subscriber sent me this one. Uh, Sycamore Outdoors sent this one to me. This is a great bait, man. There's a lot of people that's caught fish on this bait right here. So shout out to Sycamore Outdoors, the guy that sent me the mask, that Build Ants Fat A. But let's see what I found at the flea market. I, I forgot to show you guys this stuff right here. Richard Berry, there's only one soft jerk bait as far as I'm concerned. It's a Zoom Super Fluke, and that's the one I use. Uh, now, I do like the new Shiver Glide from Reaction Innovations. Nate Somers, it was the Doomsday Turtle, unfortunately. Um, they were doomed once they hit me with that. We'll send you some free packs of turtles. And see, I find it all annoying when I want upper end tackle. I have to shop JDM. God forbid an American company put out some quality upper end. Well... Here's the crazy thing, Dean. You may get mad at me. A lot of that JDM stuff, you're paying just because it's from Japan. The quality isn't that much better. Uh, Mega Bass and a few others, yeah, I will say the quality is that much be better. But realistically, you look at Six Sense, some of their patterns and, and baits are built just as good as stuff in Japan. You look at, uh, there's a couple more American companies. I'll be honest. Uh, striking stuff's really good uh, for the money. Uh, I, I'm not going to pay ridiculous amounts, and I have paid ridiculous amounts for some of the JDM stuff. But a lot of the JDM stuff's made in China. It's coming out of the same factories. So I think where you're paying on JDM is actual design. Uh, but Lucky Craft, and, and if you listen to my podcast with Ben Keller from... Uh, the hookup tackle he'll tell you lucky craft makes baits for about seven to eight of these jdm companies that are charging 25 to 30 dollars a bait so anyway yeah i remember the helicopter lures by roland martin uh i'm not going to talk about them either because i'd like to slap that joker uh, let's see uh caffeine shad's good bait i tell you what uh caffeine shad is excellent if you work it like a cinco i saw that happen this year so Got about 145 viewers in the chat, guys. Make sure you smash the like button. We're going to stream for a while now. It's only 8.30. I feel like I can go for like two hours. Maybe I should tell my wife that. Uh, let's see. Um, I know turtles get eaten by bass, but I, I just, man. I've seen some gr good people I thought were decent fishermen start promoting the doomsday turtle. And I'm like, dude, they must be paying you good money because... I, here's the deal. Whether it works or not, I don't believe in it, so I can't promote it. I, 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 anyway. The reason Lucky Craft went down on uh, prices is because they got smashed by the IRS by, for about, almost a million dollars. 
Uh, so they own, owned a lot of Texas. But I get it, Dan. There is very few American companies making stuff here that have got that high quality look to them. I, I, I will agree on that. But I do feel like... Uh, we're just buying JDM because we think, man, it's JDM. It's so much better than what we got. And, man, dude, how many guys catch them on a red-eye shad? That's one of the plainest-looking rattle baits out there, and it slays. Um, so there's a there's a pro and con to everything, man. Uh, now, I will say this on paint jobs and finish, and I hate to get on a rant. Your bait's not going to look brand new all the time. And I, if a bass is getting that close to your bait to examine your paint job and go, man, I think that one was made in Japan, and he and, and he bites it, I don't think that's the case. And I'm sitting here to tell you, you know, Six Sense has great paint jobs and all that, but at the end of the day, the shade and if it's the right color is more important than if it's glossy or not. Now, I do think matte finish makes a difference in a way, but they're not going to get in there and inspect the, the little flake of, purple and a little flake of silver and does it have a straight eye or does the eye bend listen if they're getting that close you should catch them um anyway let's see uh and i'll be honest man uh people are not going to paint and put split rings on bait in the united states for ten dollars an hour i wish they would uh but that's why a lot of people manufacture overseas uh hopefully uh we can get those jobs back over here um they can't even get people to want to flip burgers for 15 bucks i mean that's the easiest job ever but i have seen mullins use the dune day uh product uh let's see dude those flat a's are the bomb so dude i do respect the eye candy in japan and man i do get suckered in quite a bit uh i will tell you a great company they don't get as much play they're starting to get down as OSP. Uh, OSP stuff, the Blitz uh, Max, Blitz DR. Uh, those are some amazing crankbaits. Uh, and the, I believe it's uh, Garuda jerkbait. Holy smokes. Uh, if you want baits that work, buy some OSP stuff. 154 viewers in here, guys. Make sure you smash that button before I start having to talk about the Guggen Squad. So, what is up, MX Bass? Rain coming my way, live about four hours west. Yeah, man, it's rained. My pool's overflowing. Uh, it's turning a little turquoise. It's clear, but the color's different, so. Deep Little Inn does wreck them on St. Clair. All right, so let's see what I got at the flea market. Look here. Score. Score. A Jimmy Houston super spook uh this is slay some big big rattles in there so before the vixen came out uh and all that stuff the paycheck repo man the tackle this was the big spook that guys threw quite a bit this is that jimmy houston uh three travel spook uh this one's thread fin shad i believe i gotta clean it up i hadn't even cleaned these baits yet Clean this one up. Someone actually took the hooks off and put these gamakatsus, and they're bent to hell. Got to replace the hooks on that one. That one right there will catch. Let's see what else I got in here. Oh, I don't know if this one's worth anything. I don't know if it's new or old. Oh, I paid two dollars for that bait, by the way. It's worth about eh, ten to twelve. I hate it. I, I just kind of threw them in a shoebox because they didn't have any bags or nothing. And I said, "Well, what about that old box? If I can get this one out, I definitely scored." And these, all these hooks need change. I'm gonna have to send some of these baits to TK Stanley or somebody to get painted. What bothers me is how you get hooks uh, that go through a split ring. Why do the hooks always go through split rings? And once they go through there, when they're hooked up, how can you not get them off? It is ridiculous. Oh, yeah, we got her off. Check this out. These little cleaned up. Look at this Smithwick Rogue, baby. Score, chartreuse, purple, white belly. 
Yeah, baby. An old rogue in Jake Juice, basically. And this one isn't the Mark Menendez Signature Series. Uh, I don't even... I, I had not seen this one. Uh, yeah, and this isn't the, the new plastic one that you see out. This is an older one. Uh, it's just a suspending rogue. It's not the super rogue. Two dollars? Make you holla? Ah, two dollars make me holla. I grabbed it at the flea market. You better know. Definitely needs cleaned up. Stick her right there. That's what I need. Like, Epic Eric has this big thing, and he's got them all hanging on hooks. That's what I'm going, so. Yeah, dude, Bass Talk Live gave me a shout-out. I did get a hold of Jeffrey's. Got something awesome going to happen. If you're looking to buy a boat or sell a boat, uh, me and BTL are partnering up with something, and Mark could talk about it next week. Hopefully, I'll get to get on the show uh, I'm going to do a couple of Bateman middays next week. Probably do, uh, probably for sure do Monday and Wednesday around 11 o'clock. And then you guys can watch it back in the afternoon. So, uh, you ever been to Smith Mountain Lake in Virginia? I have once. Guggen Squad, uh, Mercer's great. So, Sean Lyle, Bateman TV, I'm American born Chinese. And I don't know if it's the culture difference, but my parent generations ain't about that not working stuff. My mom retired, then it gets a job to make pocket money. Then start another restaurant. Yeah, dude, um, I don't even know if it's a culture thing, Sean. I think it's, it's, it's as it's evolved in, you know, my parents uh, worked, and um, I've always worked. And I feel like somewhere in the last 10 years, something's happened to where we're teaching people you don't have to work. Uh, I think people have misconstructed you don't have to work hard to make money into you don't have to work to make money. Um, I've always said work smart, not hard. That doesn't mean I don't bust my ass and sweat. That means I don't do stupid stuff. Um, you know, why do, why, it's, it's like where I work building windows. Sometimes, why do XYZ steps when if you do AB, you get it done quicker and better and you're not losing quality. Um, and I think somehow, like I said, we've misinterpreted um, the the meaning of you don't have to work hard to make money into you don't have to work to make money. Um, it's always good to have side hustles and different stuff. And, and to be honest, you know, I tell you guys, I don't make a lot of money from YouTube. Um, but what I do make, it usually goes into buying new baits to show you guys. It goes into equipment, software for the channel. I'm really wanting to get a drone. So, uh, anything to improve, and I appreciate every dollar, anybody, ooh, any donates, I appreciate every view where I make ad revenue, um, it's really, really easy and hard uh, to grow on YouTube, so thank you all that have subscribed uh, to the channel, and uh, I hope we get some more subscribers up in here, so, let's see here, what does this do Uh oh, hit the wrong button. All right, let me answer some questions. Yeah, Epic Eric is a has a serious addiction. I think you're going to see Eric get back on the stream here in the next week or two. Uh, I'm going to reach out to him if he's done fishing tournaments and see if uh, Eric wants to join. Uh, actually, if you'd be interested in, um, I could probably get FLW Pro Terry Bolton in the bait room to talk spinner baits. He is known as a spinner bait fisherman, great fall angler. I'd love to get Terry uh, in here. If you guys would be cool with that, you let me know. So, yeah. So Caleb, I did. I, I pretty much talk about buzz baits almost every video, but I'm wanna. I'm gonna have a specific um, buzz bait video, um, and, and we'll talk. We'll run the game. But now there are some buzz baits I don't throw. I don't throw a lot of double blades. I only throw about one, um, but. We'll kind of run through my favorite ones and some little knickknacks and tricks. So, Patrick McNamara, love the honesty on this channel regarding brands, companies, and all too common selling out scene today. I appreciate it, Patrick. I just call it like it is, man. Um, again, I tell you guys all the time, I'm not a professional fisherman. I'm just an average fisherman, but I love the baits. And I like talking about them. And I like talking about the industry and stuff like that. But I'm not going to say I'm someone I'm not. Um, I'm just an average Joe that likes to bullshit about baits. And 
I like to catch fish. I don't wear my GoPro every time I go fishing. I'm not going to make a bunch of clickbait uh, videos. Um, you know, I'm not going to be buying a lake house anytime soon, but it would be nice. I'd probably make a video about it. But uh, Sean Long, I, it's in my bio somewhere. Uh, after I upload a video, you'll see a link to my PayPal. But you know what, dude, you made a $10 make you holla. That goes to the drone fund. Don't worry about it, bud. So. Uh, but we gotta get back to these. We gotta get back to the flea market finds. If you had one bait to fish with the rest of your life, what would it be? Six-inch bass tricks would be pretty hard to beat. Uh, yeah, I'll go with the six-inch bass tricks color light hitch on a beast hook. If I knew they were gonna bite it, that's the one. So, um, this is a pretty cool bait. Uh, it's not a thin fin. I, I don't know the exact maker of this, but it's not a thin fin. It has an old Rebel finish, but you can see why I got it. It's kind of got that chrome and purple back. If TK Stanley was in here, he could probably tell me. Um, really like this. But you know, this is a flat bait, and I can already tell you it's going to cast like a potato chip. But they, I found several of these, and I grabbed this one. But I did get some original thin fins. It's a Rebel is what it is. Uh, I don't know the exact name of it. But look at here. Here's a thin fin. Again, $2 a piece. Uh, yeah. I don't know if this one's... Uh, I don't know if this one got swelled up or not. I don't know enough about the thin fans. Maybe I need to talk to Epic Eric. But this one's got a wider bill. This one on my right hand. It's even fatter. It's got a lot a rattle to it. Uh-oh! Old Toad has hit that super chat for the $4.99. Almost $5. Make you holla. Appreciate that, my friend. Appreciate the lake house fund. It, we're going to get there one day, I promise. So, so I've got one thin fin. Okay, this is the rattling thin fin. This is a sinker. Uh huh. I need to go back to this place because they had more thin fins, but I like this rattling one. Really like this right one. That sounds good, doesn't it? And this is the this is the older one. But this one that has has like nothing silent, huh? Let's see if I got any more of them. I did. I got another rebel one. Again, these were like two bucks. Man, I bet this would be a nasty wake style bait if you could bend that. But, so this one's obviously been used quite a bit, man. It's so thin. Here's a potato chip. Oh, we got a new subscriber in the house. David Harbalis. Brian Robeson hooked you right in. Thank you so much, man, for subscribing to the channel. I'm glad all my new animations are working. So... What is the best six cents topwater bait? SWS fishing, great question. I wish I could select these. I wish I knew how to select these chats and blow them up. Like I see Flickmaster and people do that, but um, I don't know how to do it. Participants. Whoa. That's cool. Um, uh, best six inch top water bait, I'm going to say is probably a toss up between the dogma and the speed wake. I really like the dogma. The new catwalk's great, but it, it's a very good slick water top water. Dogma is pretty nasty, man. It, it walks so well. And the speed wake is really, really good. And I guess if you want to consider the frog, but I like the mag dog too. The mag dog 130 is pretty nasty. Um, 
All right, hurricanes dropped about six or seven inches of rain here Thursday in Louisiana. Haven't fished since, but going to hit it in the morning. I hope uh, hope everything's going good there, Boss Hog. We're probably going to get some more rain uh, from the hurricane, but uh, I think Texas, Louisiana uh, come out pretty good on that deal. Uh, it was supposed to be worse. So, Shady Banks, what's up, my man? Shady Banks, the hookup tackle has the new Mega Bass double inline buzz. I got some other way. It it really looks promising for this finesse buzz. I'll, uh, Nichols makes a really good double inline buzzer too. I think, uh, I'm not a big guy on that. I've got I've got this. Obviously, it's old. Uh, it's got it's got a patent on it. It doesn't say who makes it. It's crazy. It's got that one eye though. Um, I don't think I got many more double buzzers. Um, I do. I, I do love the B Rob. If you guys want to see the B Rob dance, if you're new, you just gotta hit that subscribe button, uh, and it'll do it. Do the dance. So, um, no problem, Nick uh, Cavace. I can't ever pronounce your last name, Nick. I just know he's Nick. I appreciate you joining in tonight, man. Edit your stream, title. I'll go. Huh. Well, let's see what else we got in the flea market. Another. Check this out. Again, $2. Build Ants. Fire Tiger. Uh, fat A. So there's two sizes. A lot of people don't realize it. Two sizes. This one. Oh, I just hooked myself. Oh, no. Oh, snap. We done done it now. So there's two sizes in this Fat A. This one's got some kind of gunk on it. I'll have to clean it off. So the best way to clean these baits, I'm just going to be honest with you guys, is rubbing alcohol. If you use acetone, a lot of times you'll strip the paint. So, uh, and Pledge, I've done really well cleaning with Pledge. So, you can see this is the big fat A, and this is the smaller one. They're both hard to get. Uh oh, we got another sub. Hella Bass is hooked and subscribed. I see what you did, Hella Bass. I see what you did, and I like it. He unsubscribed and subscribed. I appreciate it. That's called being a team player, but, dude, these are. We're really good crankbaits, but I'm gonna have to clean this guy up. It probably this is probably the one that slays because it's like this. But look at all the BBs uh, right there in the chin of that bait. This is loud, man. There's not a lot of there's not even any new crankbaits. Look at that sound, dude. That is awesome. But you could tell plastic's so much different in these old this old stuff than it is the new. Just a big, fat, nasty, wide, wobbling bait. They also made like a clear lavender one that's really hard to find, too. Hang those up. See what else I got over there? Yeah. So I thought maybe I found something really, really good. I found me a balsa crankbait. Kind of looks like a jaw jacker, but this is actually a Lee Sisson. Uh, this is a nice full. It's not worth a lot. It's worth about five bucks. I paid five bucks for it, but... Looks like a good fisher, man. I like these full patterns, especially this time of year, man. It's a really good... Lee Sisson's a great bait maker. Makes some great plugs. Now, they're not worth, like, Bagley's and stuff. Because they're pretty common. But, man, good-looking bait. I'm going to throw some hooks on that and, and fish that one for show. Yes, toothpaste actually works really well to clear, clean the headlights on your vehicle. So, if you got them foggy headlights... Uh, toothpaste will do good. Good question, fat guy Bassin. If you're throwing fire tiger, are you imitating a bluegill in dirtier water? I have always assumed fire tiger was uh, imitating a bluegill or something. It's trying to um, use that color to to throw some shade. I don't mean throw shade like uh, you know bluegills or. Homos. I mean, just it throws that color shade. Oh, we got another subscriber. White whale fishing. Thank you, bud. Thanks for hitting that subscribe button again. Got to hook him in. I think we can get Brian Robeson on here. I talked to him. He's a cool dude. So, all right. 
I, you're right, fat guy. That's what I'm assuming you're imitating a gill or you're just trying to get something as an attention getter. You know, like when a, a, girl, a chick walks by with a really bright pink skirt, it's an attention getter. You know what I'm saying? All right. Are old bomber speed shads worth anything? I think they are worth a little bit, Matt. They are. So, yes, uh, Ben made a great YouTube channel. He's a good dude. Uh, I need to get him on a stream as well. So, I have not got a P.O. box. Uh, I need to do that, Sean, bad. I've got, I don't mind people sending stuff to my house, but I would like to get random crazy stuff I don't expect coming. Um, I love unboxing stuff from subscribers too, man. That's probably one of my favorite things to do. I know it doesn't get a lot of views, but I love doing unboxing uh, on live stream. And, and some people said you need to unbox like Debo's fishing. And I watch Debo's day, man. Yeah, dude, he's got it got, uh, done right. Um, so I don't want to take anybody else's idea which i should because that's all most people on youtube do is they just do everybody else's ideas so all right mr gambit 2000 i need to figure out how to highlight everybody's comments that would be awesome but i understand the high price of fish finders is a real joke right now but i broke down got a lawrence hds7 great unit just to play catch up on the new tech, what would be your choice of finders if I could? I've always been a Lowrance guy. Um, the old HDS 8 and 10 uh, Gen 2s drew a uh, the bass, the best. Uh, I'm just telling you, from the guys on Kentucky Lake of Pickwick could tell you, the old HDS 10s and 8s, if you want to draw a bass, and it is the best unit to draw a bass slash fish. Now, are they as fast? No. Is the details and brush piles and some of that stuff is no. But as far as drawing the fish, those were the best. Uh, I do like a hummingbird uh, now. Um, obviously, Garmin's are really good units too. I've spent a lot of time in both. But um, if I could just have one, I'd probably have to go with Lowrance. Um, let's see here. Bateman, here's a trip for those old crankbaits with the white film on them. Use a hair dryer. And that white film disappears. Well, you know what? I believe the wife has a hair dryer. Will Meyer just made some knives, handmade for twenty dollars. Awesome. I'm not a big knife guy. I keep like one or two pocket knives, and that's it. You know, some people got a big knife collection, and that's cool. I, I respect you if you do, and it's cool. I just never got into it. But the handmade stuff is using deer antlers. That's that now. That's cool. All right, uh, looking for old Big O from around the 70s. They are around, Ronald. I've seen a few on the Facebook groups. Uh, Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. I got a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser in my son's room. Bad. Bomber Long A's. Got a bunch. Early 90s. Yeah, the old screw tails, the mid, late 80s uh, on the Model A's. But that Long A is a nasty wake bait. You got to, you know, take the lighter and bend the lip. But... Go ahead, Justin Van Buren. Wanted to ask about cranking grass and also the six cents. Go ahead, man. Shoot me that question. The swank is a great bait. Um, totally different action than anything else out there. Now, of course, now this hybrid hunter slash the old Strike Pro Bubba is out there, and those baits are basically designed pretty the same way, with the same action. One guy's going to tell you six cents better, and one guy's going to tell you the hybrid hunter Strike Pro. Throw them both. You're going to catch fish on both of them. Uh, I do like the colors in the six cents quite a bit better, though, if we're going to be honest. Um, I have both of those cranks baits, all the Jimmy Houston signature line Bill Nass cranks that, dude, Gordon, I'm trying to get the whole collection, man. So, speaking of Jimmy, speaking of Jimmy, yee, Jimmy Houston, cut your damn hair, Jimmy. You don't think you can spend that much money at a flea market when baits are two dollars, but I did. Speaking of Jimmy, look here. An Excalibur autographed Jimmy Houston. Oh yeah, and that flashy red. Now we're talking, baby. This is a hard one to come across. Now these baits don't go as expensive as the other ones. If you find them in the package, that's about a ten to twelve dollar bait, but do. The Excalibur spot. 
Oh man. That one right that one right there. What's up, you good looking honky? Make sure you hit the subscribe button, bud. Uh bait man, I actually used a piece of wood and caught a catfish. I don't uh, there's no way I can argue that. I guarantee you can. So my favorite fishing game, uh Sega Bass Fishing, absolutely phenomenal. And the original trophy bass on Super Nintendo are my top two favorites. Or not trophy bass, it's uh, super black bass on a regu regular Super Nintendo. You go up to the dam with a crankbait and you catch bigs. What is up, dude? Guess who's up in here? Uh-oh, we got a new subscriber. Louisiana Backwater Fishing. Reel them in. Thanks for subbing, buddy. Appreciate uh, you doing that here on the channel. We're, we're getting there. We've got about a little bit over 300 subs to make 15,000. I'd like to see us hit 15,000 by the end of September. My goal this year was actually to be at 14 by the end of 2020, and we're way ahead. So my goal now is to have 16,000 subs to start 2021, and uh, I think we can do it. A lot of it's on me. i got to make more content. So... All right, I gotta get back. I missed a few questions. What's up, Carl Acorn? Or Acorn? All is well. So let's see here. Bateman Junior. Boom! Pound it. What's up, dude? Good. Why is your hair wet? I'm taking a bath. You're taking a bath. You don't stink no more. No. You sure? Yeah. What you been doing all night? You can tell the people what you've been doing. Playing Xbox? Yeah. Hey, um, would you go get my cell phone so we can get a giveaway done? Mm -hmm. We're going to do that giveaway. Batman Jr. is going to get my cell phone. Uh-oh, Richard Berry. Five dollar. Make you holla. Show that Kenny Powers up there. Appreciate it. Brooks, we got a dono. What do you say? Thank you. All right, go get my phone. We'll get that giveaway done. Where's she at? Well, go get my phone. Hurry back. People are excited. You're on. Yeah. All right, Carl. What's your thoughts on using braid tied direct on jigs and soft plastics and heavy cover? Well, if you're punching uh, mats and stuff like that, I have no problem with it. Some guys like a fluorocarbon leader, and I have no problem with that. Uh, if you're scared of your, and I, I'm one of those guys, scared if you didn't tie a good enough leader knot, go straight braid. Uh, and that heavy cover, I don't think. It really matters too much. All right, Bateman Jr. has brought me my phone. Uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna give away that six cents Vega Frog um, from last Saturday stream. So let me find it here. Carl, I would, Carl, thank you for the five dollar. Make you holla. I need to find a GIF or make one that's a make you holla GIF um, for that donation thing. You gotta shut the door, dude. The bugs are bad. So, Carl, appreciate you. Uh, thank you so much uh, for the donation. So, I have drank the Mountain Dew Game Fuel. It'll mess me up. So, let's see here. I'm gonna get this. We're gonna get this giveaway done. I was gonna do it on Instagram as well, but I said, you know what? Let's do a giveaway where it's just for my YouTube guys. Because I'm always cross-promoting and I feel that you guys are so loyal. Um, so let's see. Comment. Picker. I'm on it. Logging on Facebook. Blah, blah, blah. Don't need that. YouTube. YouTube random comment picker. And I got to get my buddy Eric's. Uh, Bateman box out to him. So, YouTube comment picker. We're here. All right. Man, we barely got enough juice left on this thing, huh? All right. Let's get the YouTube comments here. We had 77 unique commenters. See if you guys can see that. Y'all ready? Let's start it. We're going to get a random winner and a barking spider. 
Our winner is Clay Brazendine. Clay, hopefully I didn't butcher your name, but Clay, you have won a six cents Vega Frog. All you got to do is, Clay, hit me up, and I'll ship it out to you this week. So I appreciate you guys subscribing. And his favorite frog, by the way, has to be the Spro Poppin' Frog. Good choice, Clay. Appreciate everybody that participated. We're going to do some more giveaways. Again, we hit that 15,000 subs. We're going to give away $250 to $300 worth of $0.06 cents products. I might even buy, throw in a $50 gift card. Who knows? Uh, but we got all kinds of stuff coming. So anyway, back to the flea market. Let, let's answer a few questions. What's up, Dylan Dixon? Glad you're joining in. Uh, Dude, the man's loudmouth. I found some of them the other day in my dad's tackle bag. That's a really good one. So, uh, Anthony Geis, drink any of that Mountain Dew game fuel. I have it work. One thing I'll say about it, it doesn't leave me with jitters. I love NOS Energy Drink, but I can run through a brick wall. And I, I, I took drink a NOS Energy Drink two Saturdays ago, or Fridays ago. I got off work early in the morning before I got sick. At 11 o'clock, I had to take a cold bath just to calm down. It was bad. So uh, don't get NOS Turbo uh, if you want to, if if you don't want to go crazy. So, all right, uh, let's see here. Bateman Jr., what is your favorite from and color? Uh, I don't, okay. Chris McVay, what's up, buddy? We're climbing, guys. We got 217 guys. I'd love to get 300 tonight. We're going to be on for a little while, so... If you're going to bed, that's fine. Sycamore Outdoors, dude. It fit great. I even put on a photo on Instagram. I thought I tagged you. Um, I might have tagged another Sycamore Outdoors, but it fit great, man. I appreciate that. Now, showing these guys this lovely filled ants bait you sent me. Appreciate you for being an awesome subscriber. So. All right, so hey, give little bait man a shout out. Say what's up. All right, uh, let's see. So, uh, try, trying to pick up. College football is back. Austin P is playing tonight. I cannot wait to see Tennessee embarrass themselves and me try to fire Coach Jeremy Pruitt. It's going to happen. Hopefully, we beat the South Carolina Coots. Uh, let's see. Uh, Junior is awful quiet. You good? Yeah. What do you want to talk about? Hey, do you want him to join you on Xbox? His Xbox, what's your gamer tag? Bateman Jr.? Bateman Jr. Yeah. Bateman Jr. is his Xbox gamer tag. He spelt it wrong, but. Alright, uh. It was close. It's, it was close, yeah. After you get through school this year, you'll be able to spell a lot better, right? Let's see, YouTuber tournament, both formats. What's your thoughts and would you fish it? Absolutely, man. If somebody could hook me up. I would definitely uh, fish it. I, I, I'm game to fish the MLF format. I'm game to fish best five. I'm not going to catch squad either way, so it doesn't really matter, but I would definitely fish it. Dude, uh, we do have a Bojangles, but it's kind of out of the way for me. Um, I, I'm a big fan of Baja Blast uh, from Taco Bell, uh, because if I'm going to blast some Taco Bell out in the commode later, I might as well drink some refreshing Mountain Dew with it. I feel like if you drink that Mountain Dew uh, with your Taco Bell, it, it makes the exit a lot easier. Um, cross country, man. I, But I'm glad you like cross country because I hate to run. Yeah, man, Clay, I think you send me a message on Facebook. I'll, I'll take care of you. I know I've seen you around there quite a bit. So, Hooked up on some of those ledge hog hair jigs appreciate the recommendation i've let you out you're talking about the uh, hog farmer hair jigs I, I i don't know of any ledge hogs unless you're talking about um uh, that ledge hog big spoon guy what's going on austin hicks match burks okay good question matt bradley ten dollar make you holla Kenny Powers up in here. Kenny Powers up in here. Uh, if y'all like Kenny, let me know if you want me to change um, the ten dollar make you holler to something else. We'll, we'll figure it out. I might have to have my own custom 
Maybe it could be my own head going holla. I don't know. So. All good, man. Uh, that ledge hog, uh, which is like a big blade bait, is nasty too, by the way. If you want to know, it's good. Sonic the ledge hog. I like that. That could be a great t-shirt. Sonic the ledge hog. All right. I better not repeat that too loud. The Googans are having on their new shirt, so. All right. Sangarita Blast was pretty tasty. Bay Chang, what do you think about the Duo Realist Spy Bait? Uh, it looks cool. I don't throw spy baits, so, you know, I'm not going to get too excited. Spy baits don't excite me. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Spy baits don't excite me. Um, it does for some guys, but if you're going to buy a spy bait, Duo is the way to go. Um, God, have to, that's something I just I don't put work in with. But Matt Bradley, I do appreciate the ten dollar make you holler. We will use it wisely. So, what else? Oh yeah. So, Excalibur spot. We got to get back to the flea market. Uh, so, got the Excalibur Jimmy Houston lipless, and then I found this guy right off the bat. This is the quarter ounce Jimmy Houston OG super spot. Ha, oh, yeah. Two dollars for you? Absolutely. That's probably a five to ten dollar lure right there. Gonna have to clean it, but love that rattle and the, the super spots. These are some of the best. Uh, one, that's a spring color. I don't throw a red a lot in the fall, but these small ones, I'll throw this in the fall actually. They, you can fish super skinny water with the Cordell spot. It floats, it doesn't sink as fast as a rattle trap. Great for burning over the top of grass. Great to get in the very back of those creeks and flats. Oh, love a super spot. But dude, two dollars? Yeah. What do you got there, Brooks? Oh, we already seen that one. Where's my box down here? Um, how about I just oh, I just got one. Did I tell you guys I like rattle traps? Um, no. Look at this guy. It's kind of like a, a June bug. I think this color is called June bug. It's faded. But again, I had to, $2 for a quarter ounce trap. Yeah. Um, Can I pick one? Yeah, hold on just a second, bud. So this used to be one of my favorite all time rattle trap colors. And I would love to have six cents make this in a lipless or a crankbait. This is called 46OW Original Crawdad. Dude, Kentucky Lake in Gunnersville, this color absolutely slayed back in the day. What I like about it is you see how it flashes? You see that flash of white when it's come through? It's got, when it's moving on its side, it's got a good, that white bone makes this thing flash. This color, amazing. Two dollars make you holla. Really, really like that. So, and then, Bateman Jr. is going to help me with this. Start getting these out here. I think this color. Eh. Be very careful. Don't pull hard. Don't pull hard. Stop. You're going to pull that hook into you. Okay? It's hooked into something. Some of these are faded and make it look even better. And this place had like two dozen of these, and I only bought these. See how it's here? I'll pull it. There we go. All right. I'm pretty sure this color rattle trap was discontinued. I can't remember if it's called Tequila Sunrise or June Bug. Uh, the guys on Gunnersville absolutely love this color, but I've got. They had a bunch. Where are you going? Where are you going, Junior? Let's get going, getting something? All right. So there's two of them. I'll be back. He's going to be back. But look at these right here. I've never seen these. I don't know if this was the same color and they faded. So these are almost like a bubblegum style color, that rattle trap. Uh, this one's never been used. If you notice the line tie, it's got paint need to be cleaned up but you know 
Sometimes these faded lures are the best lures. These are old rattle traps too. I can tell they got the old shitty rattle trap hooks. I ain't trying to bash rattle trap. We all know those old trap hooks are terrible. But see, this one's never been used. It's still got clear over the eye. But it's it's it's. If you look at it, God, what is this? Tequila. This one's faded out. Man, they had a bunch of those. This is a discontinued color. I don't think they make it anymore. And then found this guy. Look at this. This one is see-through. I remember these old see-through. I think it was a glow trap or something. But the plastic's a different material, man, than the new ones. And it's also not as loud, if you notice. Listen to this one. This is muted. So, $2 a piece for them. Those are going to go in my lipless box. And we'll have to get another lipless box. We're getting a crazy amount of lipless baits. It's already heavy as hell. I need like a rattle trap, red eye shad box, and then I need like a six cents JDM box. But dude, all these baits and stuff at flea market cost me about, I don't know, 40 bucks. But I would like to take these guys right here and let TK Stanley do some paint work on it. Definitely would like to see this rattling thin fin TK it up. So. Guys, we're up to 240 live viewers. Appreciate you guys joining in. Look here, there's another tequila rattle trap. That's a good color. So, some of this stuff, guys, if you're wanting, it, I will have it available for sale pretty soon. Uh, I'm gonna start just selling stuff on my Instagram. Um, let's see here. Let's see, gotta catch up here. Must be all Walmart done because my luck was sort of. Yeah, 460 W was like very popular in the mid mid 90s, early 90s. That was the deal uh, here, especially around grass. Walmart doesn't stock six cents, not that I know of. All right, I'm happy that my Walmart redid the whole fishing aisle and started stocking six cents. Well, they may. Never mind, they may. I did not think. Uh, Guggen's new line, nonsense. Guggen's line is actually Sunline, believe it or not. I will say that's the only Guggen Squad product I would buy and not hesitate. Uh, local places out of Sunline, go grab you some Guggen uh, fluorocarbon. It's Sunline. Uh, I don't have any floating rattle traps. Well, that's good for six cents, to be honest with you. Uh, there's nothing wrong with uh, manufacturing Walmart carrying them. Netbait, Zoom. Uh, Berkeley now six cents. That's a huge step and a great milestone for for Casey to achieve. Getting into Walmart is a, is a big huge deal. Uh, luckily, my Walmart they carry stuff for about two months and clearance it all out um, because they have no clue. Uh, they're in the sporting goods department, so uh, they had Whopper ploppers on sale the other day for like four bucks. But I already had those colors, so. Let's see. I don't remember those, Dustin. I do not. Thank you, Mr. Gambit. Uh, we do need to get that like button smashed. We got uh, almost 250 in here. Uh, by the way, Kyle Larson, uh, I would like to get that guy on a podcast. How to be really, really good, if not better, than everybody else in your sport, featuring Jacob Wheeler and Kyle Larson. Uh, one guy can catch fish. The other guy can race on dirt. Uh, that would be awesome. Who makes the six cents worm hooks? Uh, I think they're an owner hook, James. I really do. Uh, I'm not, I can't confirm that, but that's just my guess. I, I, I think it's probably an owner deal, but I like them. Uh, let's see. Mine has a bunch of their hooks too. Dude. What's up, bud? Hope all is what it is. Angel, appreciate you coming in. Um, let's see. Who's bird in Grant's tomb? What hooks do you recommend? Do you like for replacements on crankbaits? Uh, just depends. My deep diving crankbaits actually like like a ST41 owner uh, or like a Mustad that's that's got a, a little bit more beef to it. Um, if I'm going to replace rattle traps and stuff, I like uh, the owner short shanks are absolutely nasty on square bills uh, and rattle traps. Um, 
And then I like there's an owner Zoars like ST58. It's, a, it's not a cutting point, it's a needle point. It's a really, really good hook uh, for your mid depth cranks and stuff like that. Uh, I don't like EWG hooks on anything but really a rattle trap. Um, now, the six cents EWGs are a little different for some reason. They're a long shank, they're not all a short shank. Um, but I will see guys like put the short shank uh, in the middle. Uh, the thing is on the short shank when they grab it in their hook their staying hook round bend will hook them easier but they come off a little bit uh it, it's like epic eric he puts like uh a bronze hook a round bend a gami bronze on the back and an ewg on the front so if they slap at it he hooks them if they just devour it I mean, he's got them both ways so i'm a big owner fan so Jordan Bays, what's up, buddy? Got you a Bill Dance Flat A. Man, if your dad really does have like 20 of those, I, I, I will pay him about $10 for five or six of them. Um, let's see. So, I will give a shout out to Jordan Bays. He started him a little tackle shop here on, on Kentucky Lake. It's not real huge or nothing, uh, but I respect the guy's hustle. Uh, he's trying to get in the fishing tackle game. So, if you're up here on Kentucky Lake uh, in Edible, uh, it's up next to Attitudes Hair Salon. Got him a little building. Uh, he's got him a little tackle in there. Jordan's a good guy. He can order about anything you want. Go see him. His store's called Castanets. Uh, don't pay me to say that or nothing. Just trying to give him a little shout out because we all need uh, a little plug every now and then. So uh, you come back here uh, to Kentucky Lake or actually Lake Barkley's on Lake Barkley and Edible. Go see him over there at Castanets. Has some great used rods and reels too. All right, uh, 65 likes. Yeah, bud, we gotta we gotta get over 100 likes on this thing, man. Y'all guys been slacking, uh, and, and me too. But man, this spring we were getting like a thousand freaking viewers a night. Uh, I think once Corona, people were so bored with Corona they're really sitting on YouTube. So uh, we're, we're getting up there, 253 live viewers. We're just we're just throwing stuff at the wall now. We're like a monkey throwing poop tonight. We're just talking anything oh byron would probably do what i hadn't talked to in a while so all right let's see got to get caught up with these questions y'all coming with the questions tonight i know bomber isn't making a lot of the g finish colors i guess i better start looking for yes a lot of those g finish stuff is getting really hard to find so chris mcveigh got called in again that means it's double time though no problem, man. Thanks for joining as always, Chris. Be safe at work. Best application for the ridge worm, in my opinion. Honestly, Texas rig on a ledge. That's where I'm going to use the ridge worm. Uh, or on a wobble head, maybe swim it through the outside of grass. But ridge worm is, is just is dynamite on that Texas rig. Absolutely, uh, Sean. I've got to do that. I'll try to get that done this week. And once I do... I'll post all that information. Uh, make sure you guys are hitting the subscription bell uh, and set your notification to all because I use the YouTube uh, community thing to post updates on when videos are coming and polls and stuff like that. Um, and that helps quite a bit. Yes, I am going to try to have Epic Eric on here uh, pretty soon, SWS, especially now that I got all these new balsa crankbaits. So. Dylan, I hate to say it, but I don't think many of my Bateman viewers have been out protesting anything. If anything, they've been at work. And and I'll tell you this, if you've been out protesting, that's your right, and I'm all for it, man. There, and this is all I'm going to say. There's a difference between protesting and rioting and looting. And some people, especially where I live, they don't understand the difference between protesting and rioting and looting. They want to lump everybody into one category. I don't like it, don't agree with it, but it's your right to protest. Uh, if you don't agree with that, it's your right to unsubscribe from my channel, but that's all I'm going to say about it. Uh, I hate the rioting, the looting, the crap that's going on, but I respect anybody that wants to peacefully protest. If you want to sit outside my driveway, you want to sit Indian style and say, I'm protesting, I'm protesting the bait man because I don't like how he talks about the Guggen Squad. Go ahead, do it. You're a lot of match to my damn yard. I'm probably going to whoop your ass. Just just saying. Just saying. That's how I feel about it. So, 
Sycamore Outdoors. I don't know if Six Sense will come out uh, with a spinnerbait. Uh, I think they're really trying to stay in their lane right now. Uh, they're doing so good on the hard baits and soft plastics. Don't want to grow too fast, too quick, but Sean asked if they come out with a fluke style bait. It's a good question, Sean, and my comment is I've already seen one. It's a prototype. Don't know if it ever make the final run, but I've seen one. So, Stephen Esworthy, great question. Zoom, Z Craw, or Reaction Innovation Spicy Beaver? Uh, I like the Spicy Beaver. It has a lot more action than the Z Craw. Um, I like the Z Craw though, uh, but I'm gonna go Spicy Beaver. I've caught more fish on it. I guess well. You know, two days at Pickwick catching 100 bass a day, it's pretty easy to catch a lot of fish on. But Z Crawl is a good bait. If I'm flipping, I'm going to go with the Z Crawl. If I'm throwing casting jig, football jig, or skipping, or swimming a jig, I'm probably going to go with Spicy Beaver. Whew. Can Yeah, Max sent flatworms crazy. Um, have you tried any six cents suspending traps? I have not. Uh, there was somebody in the chat usually in here that says they slay. Uh, that's something I would like uh, to do is uh, probably try out those uh, the suspending traps. I have some places I think they would be nasty in the late fall, early winter time. So I did not see that Marlon ba Bates channel is uh, it's, it's crazy. So yeah, I try to be politically polite and listen. Listen, uh, we don't do them on the channel, and I'm getting really tired of getting on Facebook, and all it is is uh, Orange Man Bad, Orange Man Bad, or uh, Joe Biden's a pedo, Joe Biden's a pedo. It's all over, and I'm just like, dude, can y'all post some fish pictures? Uh, let's see, I'm going to see some hot something. Some fish pictures, some dad jokes. Uh, I want to see pictures of people out doing things with their life, not worrying about who the president is or isn't. It's just... A big dog out there. There's a big dog out there? Yeah. What's on your face? What do you got on there? You been eating some gravy and chicken? Yeah. Well, bud, half of it's on your face. Tell that big dog to get out of here. Anyway, big man, I know you don't like true bass, but I'm starting to get hooked on the five eyes. All right, so long story. I used to not like the true bass. I have no problem with their baits. Uh, uh, my boy, Brent Anderson, throws them. And Brent had texted me, you know, months ago and said, hey, dude, you need to try them. They're actually really good now. Um, and so I think TW's got some, so I need to get some in. I, I like that, the, the chartreuse purple one. Uh, but big news. I need to let you guys know bass tricks will be coming back. Um, that's all I can say is if you're paying scalpers prices for bass tricks wait a few more months they'll be back they'll be ready to go regardless of what bass geek says on a video and says they're overrated and the only reason that tim and matt push them is so they can get a kickback a tackle warehouse i saw that comment and i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna sugarcoat it. i thought man that dude just does not know does not know now can you get bad bass tricks? Absolutely. They had several batches where the tails would barely kick. You had to reel them really fast. But the OGs, the good ones, you get that little death wobble on the head. Oh, best swimmer ever. But anyway, if you got bass tricks and you're trying to mix some coin, you better sell them now because they're coming back. They are coming back. So, Dude, Bass Bank Roberts... You are always posting them janks up on Facebook. Big old Florida bass. And, uh, dude, I love your style. You just post them up. Say, caught this last night. Caught this this day. Don't always put a number with it. You don't have to because most people know, man, Jermaine be crushing them big fish. So, and uh, we've been Facebook friends, man, for a long time, dude. And, uh. I appreciate you as a friend, just so you know. I appreciate all my subs. The 263 people that are in here on a Saturday night want to talk with the bait man. Man. Dylan Dixon, get you some good rest, my friend. So, 
Uh, let's see. Debate Man TV. With the 100%, I support everyone's constitution rights, but I live in downtown Chicago. The shops around me all got loaded, burned, destroyed. Yeah, dude. That's absolutely awful, man. And, and you know, I think people will use uh, incidents um, not for the good, uh, not out of the goodness of their heart. Uh, listen, regardless of how I feel on things that have happened in the last couple of weeks uh, with police officers and uh, citizens, uh, when we do these protests and whatnot, I do feel there's a small percentage of people that let it get it out of hand and take advantage of the situation. And I think the media takes advantage of it too. Like they feed off of it. They want to see controversy and negativity. And I just watch, don't watch it anymore. I mean, I get a little bit of news and I don't really watch it. If you'll, it's just like fishing. You can listen to this YouTuber and that YouTuber and me and all these form your own opinion. Go out and fish. Don't take everybody's word for granted. Go out and fish. Learn the baits. Learn the techniques that we tell you about. And you'll figure out, hey man, maybe this six cents bait that everybody's been talking about, maybe it really does work. And then you may also go, hey, maybe this bait that these guys have been hyping up, maybe it doesn't work. And then maybe you go, hey, I like it. I want to order 10. But, you know, there's certain baits and, and stuff that some guys use that I'm just, I don't use. Doesn't mean they're bad. So, I'll take the approach of, I just like cool stuff and just want to go fishing. And that's what we do. 269 people up in here. Live stream. Make sure you smash the like button. Uh, we're taking them super chats tonight. Uh, make you holler. There's a way to donate, too. I got to... But I think that's only for Twitch. Uh, yeah. Brandy Moss, jump up on your screen if you do that. No one donated $53, just to let you know. I don't know if it popped up or not. All right, let's get that off. Let me know if somebody say, saw, saw Randy Moss over there. So. What box of baits is your favorite box? Clay, good question. Bass Mafia box. Um, I like the dude. I'm gonna tell you guys right now. There's this is my favorite uh, Bass Mafia box. Just a straight up 3700. They're like 12, 13 bucks, depending on where you shop. The double deeps are nice uh, for bigger baits, but I find myself reorganizing again and going into the smaller 3700s because if you want to get really organized, this is the way to go. Now, I think these deep ones, obviously for square bills that I've got tons of, they're nice, but, uh, dude, for the money. And Bass Mafia is a big supporter of the channel. Uh, shout out to Bart. Great guy. And he has an impressive wood collection. And Guys, let me know if you want to see me head down to Arkansas and go to Bass Mafia. I believe JB over there would love to have the bait me in there, and I'd love to do a video, so... Smash the like button if you want to see me go to Bass Mafia. Not very far from me, actually. He's a big duck hunter, so I had to get it done soon. But that's my favorite box. Uh, flat side. I, I, it's simple box. Um, so I do like the blade coffin, believe it or not. It does take a little bit longer to put your spinner baits away and put them in there, but I like the design. I can put a bunch of them in the blade coffin. So. All right, here, let's see. How do you not have 100,000 plus subscribers? I don't know. Because I don't make enough content, uh, I don't pawn hop. Um, and to be honest, the only reason the person holding me back is me. Uh, I got a full-time job, and I'm not going to dog anybody uh, that's got that because they're hustlers, they're grinders. That doesn't mean I have to like the content to like them, but we, we 275 in it now. Uh, let's see, Sean lied. The FBI and Cook County State Attorney are about to charge like 30 some odd people for playing loose. And yo, I got some fresh new lures. I'm gonna have, yeah, dude, Sean, if you got Facebook, look me up on there. Um, or Instagram. Instagram's the deal. I like Instagram a lot better. All right, Carl's asking a great uh, Bait Man Rod question. Do you find that on a heavy 
or medium heavy action rod, a moderate fast tip versus a fast tip helps the bass from throwing the hook. Yes, uh, on a crankbait, absolutely. I like a, uh, um, I like a moderate to moderate fast hook on a tip on a crankbait top water. Absolutely. There are some guys, and I actually like just a regular fast tip on a jig. Some guys like extra fast, but I really like a fast tip. It keeps the rod loaded up a lot more. Uh, if that fish slacks your line with the extra, so this is your rod tip, all right? I wish I just had a rod in here, but it's really hard to do. So this is your rod tip. It's standing straight up. An extra fast tip, if it's loaded, it goes ting, ting. So if that fish runs at you, not slacking your line, all of a sudden your rod goes twink. That, that there's no tension on that jig, okay? And, and so it can lose it really quick. When you're flipping, you set that hook real hard and that rod loads up and then that fish runs to the boat and it goes and it jumps, guess what, you lose your jig. On a fast action rod, uh, it's loaded up, the, the bass spits the jig, it goes whoop, whoop. It, it doesn't go as fast and you've got a chance to catch up to the fish and the rod can reload real quick. On a moderate fast, it's just pretty much like that. You know, now the timing is obviously a little, lot more faster in real life than my hand, but I want to explain uh, what those tip actions do. So, yes, a softer tip is going to stay loaded longer, especially if you get slack in your line. On the, in the opposite end, it is a fish is going to bite and can pull, and you won't feel it. Uh, as soon on a uh, moderate fast tip like a crankbait a lot of times those fish have already got the bait before you really feel them pull away so all right great question man I like that when does the crush flat 55x come out man I'd love to see a 55 flat dude that would be I'm telling you a money machine for six cents right there because it's got that baby pig kind of look already Woo! And by the way, guys, if you ain't ever seen a Norm Coulter crank, baby pig in the water, dude, it blew me away in the pool. And now I know why that bait's like 150, 200 bucks on eBay. It is nasty, especially when you stop it. So, all right, uh, Rich Jones, uh, for a frog rod, will a heavy rod work? Do I need extra heavy? Um, heavy rod's fine. If that's all you got, um, heavy's fine. And believe it or not, you don't have to have an extra fast tip on a frog rod. Uh, I like a fast, even a moderate fast, because you want them to suck it in. But you got to have the backbone to drive that hook in. Uh, I do like the stick, surface stick. That's a great frog rod. Uh, Daiwa Tatula Elite. Uh, it's just frog rods. Amazing. And a Dobbin 735 Fury. Budget, great frog rod. Arkansas does have some janks, man. You got that dog out there? What'd you do? Come sit. Come sit over here, Batman Jr. Thank you, Lunkers and Lure. I, I've been wanting to do that for a long time. We're, we're going to add some more cool stuff. I might get a border in the background and some sponsor banners. I don't know. I'm trying to look, make it look more professional than just a guy sitting in his uh, tackle room. I, I really want to get rid of all the peg stuff back here uh, and get it all boxed up and it would... It's just hard to navigate around here. I'd like an actual kind of set. So, all right, I'm gonna answer questions. I'm sorry. Thank you, Bo Judd. Good luck in your tournament. Um, what do you want to talk about? I was singing there was a name, but there was no name on it. Well, don't be messing with dogs you don't know. What if you got in bed? What do I think about Matt and Tim coming to the East Coast? It's awesome. How many likes on TikTok for a John boat? I, I don't know. Is that a question? All right. Cape Girardeau, Missouri has some good deals, and I meant Shimano B, but I did get a Crawl E for 60 bucks in St. Louis. Cape Girardeau, William, is not that far from me. It's only about uh, two hours, maybe? Actually, about an hour and a half. You might have to let me know. Get some good stores in Cape Girardeau to hit up. I don't know nothing over that way. I feel like Missouri would have some absolutely fire tackle stores that haven't been hit real hard. 
Um, Don G got me some Black Label Rex, and they are really impressive. Uh, dude, I really do like the Black Labels, uh, the Peanut and the Rec. I need to get some. That Rec is really nasty. Uh, I've had several guys tell me, dude, it's as good as it's in. Matt Bradley, you should come to the gathering the Swimbait Universe is putting on out here in Virginia. I'm thinking about it. Uh, unfortunately, because I, I missed because of the, the, the COVID, I may have to use my vacation time so I can have a little paycheck here next week. Um, not sure how that's going to work. Um, i, I got to have some money coming in. Uh, but I'd love to come out to the gathering. Unfortunately, I have to fly one way or another. Um, and plus, man, I, I can't go to the gathering and not take a bunch of uh, big face bins out there. Uh, trying to, these dang kids are so expensive, but I'd love to. Diwa 5.5 for 10XD, absolutely. I love the 100P. That was one of my favorites. So, what do you think about slack lining? G Man is all about it. You talking about slack lining a jig, like stroking a jig? Uh, I used to stroke a jig all the time. I, I like doing that on a worm as well. So there's a thumping sound coming through the volume. Now my wife has the, uh, to be honest, the that is our washing machine. It is like right in front of me in our. Um, it has too much clothes in it. And it has too much clothes in it. Good job, Batman Junior. Uh, the wife just wants to stuff everything in there. So you're hearing the washing machine is what's tapping. I can't do nothing about that. I'm sorry. You are so lucky to have my co-host. Yeah, man. How? All right, see. Tristan Welch. Uh, do you know anything about the Gee Crack Bellows Gill? Yeah, dude, that's a pretty nasty uh, bait. Every time I try to get some, they're out. And Gee Crack even sends me messages and says, Hey, man, they're available. I'm like, yeah, I'll get on it. And when I go to get on it, they're gone. Gee Crack makes some really cool stuff, by the way. Um, love the hat, Bateman Jr. Some of the most durable baits out there. You like that net bait hat? Yeah, net bait's good stuff, man. Shout out to net bait. Uh, good, good people. Sounds like the fan threw a bang. Hey, what it is is too much stuff in there. I'm sorry, guys. Slack line setting the hook. Ah, I got you. Like old school. Uh, that's what my dad used to do. He'd get a bite. And he puts his tip down and he I break line a lot when I set the hook on a slack line. What's up, St. Chris? Good to see you in there, man. Good to see you in here. It's hot in here. What real ratio for A rigs? I like six three to one. Anything heavier than six three to one, it's it's just gonna kill you, man. A rigs is really heavy and, and I do know some guys that burn them, but they still reel them fast on the 6.3, so I wouldn't go anything faster. And here's my A-Rig tip. Go buy a cheap Black Max from Walmart. It's 49 bucks. Throw some braid on there, and if you destroy your real big deal, it's 40 bucks. Uh, but if you're going to get real serious about it, you know, a Trinx 3 or 400 on the A-Rig with 20-pound fluorocarbon, that's really the way to go. And that reel is built to hold it or the new two to two of 300 i'm gonna have to grab one of those so. what's up northeast bass fishing did you say earlier you had some stuff to talk about with the googans uh i no i really don't i was just messing around um did you see that oh yes the tackle blade walker Every, i i all right, the last few times I've ordered from Tackle Warehouse and the Hookup Tackle, I always add it to my cart, and then I take it out because I want to put something else in there. And I do know some great people uh, that said the hooks were breaking on the on the Blade Walker, and I've seen photos of it. And I don't think it's like a mass amount of them, but I didn't like the fact that there was enough people that were upset about it to like, hey man, this is happening. Multiple people, the hooks breaking. Um, things happen, you know. Um, bait man, no worries about the background. Just keep talking baits. Yeah, we'll try. We've been on for about 
Ooh, we'll be almost two hours, not too long. We got 310 beers, guys. Thank you so much. Make sure you smash the like button. Um, we got to figure out what we're going to talk about next week. I think if if Terry Bolton's in town, I think I'll call Terry and see if he wants to come talk spinnerbaits. If not, um, we'll do. Uh, we got to talk. We got to talk fall fishing. Just fall fishing in general. We may, we may have to go with crankbaits, and I may have to get Eric on here. So they're going to be crankbaits. Uh, buzz baits. Uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna get Brent Anderson on here to talk big top waters in the fall. He'll do it. I'll have to pull him in from Vero Bass Lakes. But, uh, I used an old Corrado B51 for my A rigs and deep divers. Dude, the old Corrado B5s are nasty. Uh, they're built like tanks. They're great for A rigs and deep divers, man. Still to this day, one of the best reels ever made. Big Nate's Bait and Tackle in Scott City, Missouri. I'll look that up, man. I was going to go to Peevely a couple weeks ago. I don't know how far away you are from Peevely, but I wanted to see Kyle Larson uh, run that dirt car, and of course he won. So, Dial with the Tula 150. Is it too small for a 10XD? No, it's absolutely perfect. It's a great reel for a 10XD. Uh, it's a Tula 150. Dude, I throw, I'm throwing a 10XD... I've thrown it on the Tatula 100P. I, again, I'm throwing a, the bait's not as important as your line. And when you're throwing a crankbait, especially me, a deep diver, I'm using 10 or 12 pound fluorocarbon. So I'm not worried about the diameter or line. These guys that are using 17, I think Darian's Fishing uses 15 or 17 on a 10XD. The bait's not even going down as deep as it's supposed to. Now you don't have to, you're fishing Gunnersville, it's basically going to hit grass, but me personally, the whole thing about a 10XD is I want to get that as deep as down. Uh, Rick, I've asked Dan Moorhead, and I like Dan, he's a great guy, and he's declined to be on the YouTube, he wants to spend time with his family, and I totally get it, so um, he's just not a big social media guy. I, I like Dan a lot, but he has declined because I have asked him. That's okay. No big deal. Great fisherman, too. But I might ask him again. Let's see. Tackle shop never had a bunch of Bobby's Perfect Frogs. Even colors in the Clarence bin. Man, you gotta let me know when they're clearing out them Bobby Perfect Frogs. So, uh, Is later line the same as regular line? They say it's not. But really, later line is kind of the same. But um supposedly uh later lines a little different but it's another way to get fifteen dollars out of you for 75 yards line that's how i feel about it but uh it's supposed to have a later line supposed to have way less stretch than regular lines so i actually use some fc uh i believe it's F, here, what's this later line here i use quite a bit i use this right here it's, i'm about out this sunline fc leader yeah, I use that quite a bit uh, on my Nico rigs. Quite a bit. It's only 50 yards. I only use about 6, 7 yards at a time, but I really like that. Woo! Primal fishing baits. Never heard of them. Sounds cool. What are my top two walking baits? Oh, man. Great question, Bass Bank. Uh, of all time, it's probably going to be a saltwater super spook. Uh, and, uh, dude, I'm going to tell you guys right now, I love it. Evergreen Shower Blow. The shower Blow is nasty, man. Get a lot of bites. Uh, and if that's an all-time, and somewhere in there, you got to put a Rebo Man Vixen. So, really, three. But, dude, Saltwater Super Spook and a Shower Blow 125. I just got one the other day. I don't want to do one. All-time favorites. Let's see... I can't figure out that deep crank about to save my life. I've tried it, but must be doing something wrong. you got to keep doing it, man. Um, I've gone days throwing a big crankbait and never got a bite. And now with the new electronics, uh, I will tell you, there's a way that those bass set up on the bottom that you can't tell with the old stuff on down imaging and side scan. I can look at a graph, and, and Jake Lawrence can do the same thing and look and go, you can catch those fish on a crankbait. If they're sucked to the bottom... And they're in what I call attack mode. Those are absolutely crankbait fish. If they start 
if you're looking on your depth finder, there's a lot of shadows. They're suspended off the bottom. You're not going to catch them on a crankbait. You're, you're just going to have to put something slow and in front of their face. So, what's up, Thomas Hines? We're talking about all kinds of stuff. Speaking of Corrado, Shimano has a new Corrado K MGL. Could be a killer. Is it the Corrado K or the SLX MGL? I know the SLX MGL is coming in. Guys, we've got 350 viewers. Make you holla. Appreciate it. Guys, uh, I think when the West Coast people started coming back home for Saturday night, they got to get some. So thank you guys so much for joining in. Um. Let's see. I've heard you talk about spot sticker spinner baits. What do you think of accent? Well, let's see. Um, yeah, accent spinner baits. Right here. So this is the uh, the Wheelers River Special. So there's the accent with three blades. Uh, that's kind of designed with the help of Jacob Wheeler. I love accent spinner baits. They're made handmade. In the United States, this is Wheeler's Shad Spawn Shad Special. Dude, you can throw this dude in the fall. You will slay him with these triple blades. Uh, the accent spinner baits I like. Let's see if I got one up here that's uh, about out of the package. I may not. I may not have one. I've got them in my spinner bait box, but I like the old accents that's got the fluted blades, and they still make them. One of the best fall time spinner baits. Great spinner baits. I love Accent spinner baits. We'll get Terry Bolton on here. He's sponsored by Accent. We can get Terry on here. He can tell us all about. Them. Matter of fact, um, if you'll uh, get on my channel, Dale, I've got a video uh, with Terry Bolton talking about fall spinner baits, and he talks about this spinner bait right here in particular. Uh, let's see. Isn't Shower Blow a depths bait? No, it is an evergreen bait. I like the 125 clay. That's my favorite. Uh, I've caught them on that small 105 as well. One thing I like about a Shower Blow is you can work it really, really, really fast. And it's really loud and it's obnoxious. And they like that. I have seen an MT Wake 5 a lot. I need to grab one. I've heard it's a really good wake bait. It looks like a beer can. That's what it reminds me. It looks like a beer can, but I've heard it's nice. Man, I'd like to get a Corrado K MGL. Dude, I'm telling you, I like the small reels. I like the Tatula SV. I like that small 100 or 70 series profile. Yeah, let's see. That's what I got, Clay. I got a Bone 125 because I know in a month it's going to be hard to get them, so... Dude, I still love the Sammy. Yeah, everybody's throwing all this new stuff, and that's why I like these old baits, because... I'm sorry, guys. I got an itch on my nose. Uh, those um, those old-school baits like the Sammy, everyone's forgotten about them, but, dude, they slay. Gunfish slays. I always... When I take my top waters, I always take some Sammys with me. Uh, I do have a Dave Spinner bait. Matter of fact, I believe it's right here on my wall. Dave's stuff's cool. I like his. This guy right here. I love that aspirin style head on that Dave's uh, blade roller. You need to throw that, throw that guy. That's a good looking dude. I like his buzz bait too. So shout out to the guys that sent me uh, some of Dave's tournament tackle. Um, he makes some good stuff. They sell the 105 here for 11 bucks. Holy cow. That's what they cost. Uh, Robert Linson's got some wood sammies. They still make the wood sammy, believe it or not. They actually have them on TW. Yeah, man. Dude, the accent. I'm going to tell you, uh, Sean. Find the accent. The ones with the turtle blades for dirty water in the spring. Or if you want to fish like over the tops of lay downs. Real shallow water, dude. It just... Those turtle blades slay, man. Plus, they make that color. My color, Purple Crush, man. I designed that color for them. And uh, great guys. I didn't really design it. I just told them you need to make that. 
and they did and they sell a bunch of them but get to get you some purple crush accents you can order them off their website tell them Bateman sent you so yes brett is a great guy dale i'll i'm going to go to the east tennessee show this year absolutely I, i'm going to try to go to a lot of shows if my wife will let me so accent does make a great night spinner bait uh I've got one. It's a little beat up. Here's an accent night spinner bait, and it is beat the heck up. And one I really like. See, this is a mid wire. It's not a real long one. It's not short. It's a mid wire with a number six blade. Do this guy slays now. That should tell you where I'm fishing that spinnerbait at night. You see that head? Yeah, it's all beaten up. I've been slow rolling that around some big chunk rock. If I want to slowly reel a spinnerbait at night, I like that bigger blade. I want more thump. Look at the flash on that thing. Black and red, double tail grub. That's a really good nighttime setup. Like I said, as long as your spinnerbait's black. Black and purple, uh, purple, black and red, red and purple. But I like that number six blade. That's I'll use that quite a bit. I don't know if y'all can see that wire vibrating. That's what makes this thing so daily at night. But that's an accent night spinnerbait, man. Dude, got to get some of them. And they, they'll make them with whatever size blade. I'll throw a short, they'll make a short arm. I've thrown a short arm with a number five. So the small, shorter the arm, the smaller the blade I like on a night spinnerbait. So... Whew. Did you say, well, yeah, I was going to go to Peavely like, it was like two or three weeks ago to I-55 Speedway, so. 350 viewers up in here. I'd like to get 500. I don't know if I can last that long. I'm not going to lie. I'm getting a little tired. I'm getting sweaty. Johnny Markham, great question. Uh, everybody I talk to that's got an SLX reel, they like it. I like mine. It's great for... $99, I think that's the price. Just the standard model. Uh, it's a great reel. Not had any issues out of it. So, Have you tried the Booyah Covert? Uh, Bateman Jr. has one. Um, I have some Z-Man spinnerbaits. I actually like the Z-Man spinnerbait pretty well. Spinnerbait talk going to make me go to sleep. Yeah, man. I'll be honest. The most important thing on a spinnerbait isn't who makes it or what nice the wire. If the wire is too heavy, it's going to be junk. I don't care who makes it. If the wire is too light, it's going to break easy. So it's getting that perfect combination between a light wire and a durable wire that makes a really good spinnerbait. I mean, anybody can put a white skirt on there or whatnot, but... Uh, there's, there's a lot of baits where the hardware doesn't matter too much, but I feel like a great blade and all that stuff, uh, great swivels and components make a spinnerbait. What's up, DJ? Five dollar make you holla. Sent the sticker with it. Sent the sticker. Look at that dancing pair for five dollars. Appreciate it, DJ. Thanks for the donation to the channel. All right, guys. Oh, man. Another five dollar make you holla. From DG, uh, I want to hopefully uh, not going too much. I there we go. We should see the super chat come up. Whoop! Bark a spider. What do you think about the Blade Walker? Looks really, really cool. Uh, just haven't thrown it yet. Don't have one, so I think this is the time of year to have one. I had thrown a night spinnerbait in the day. I just changed the color to chartreuse and white. Uh, that's pretty much what Jason Christie uh, did in the classic one year. Uh, and I believe it was at Toledo Bend. He was pitching a short arm spinnerbait to cypress trees and slaying them. And it works really good in, in dirty water. So, Got to give a shout out to Cole and Jay. Thank you guys for joining. Uh, if you have not watched their most recent video they put on YouTube... We got a we got a baby harking on the way, and uh, I'm not gonna lie, I got kind of sad watching that video because I kind of missed the excitement of, of when my wife was first pregnant with Bateman Jr. Um, long story short, 
I was making about $12 an hour. I'd gotten laid off. I was at a job that I really didn't want to be at. Um, and she said, hey, guess what? By the way, uh, I come visit her. I brought her some lunch. And, and she said, hey, I got something for you. And I thought, okay, cool. And she pulls out two pregnancy tests. And I'm just like, the first thing I said was, what are we going to do? And I took a big breath and I said, man, I'm so happy and excited. Everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. And everything turned out great. And y'all see Bateman Jr. So when my wife told me the second time, dude, I absolutely was like, I hope it's a girl. I hope it's a girl. And it was a girl. So congratulations to you guys. Uh, that was some good stuff, man. But Neely says she wants you to see. Neely was watching uh, some old episodes, uh, Cole J. And she said, I want to see them with more snakes. So you got to find some more snakes. So I'm, I've done well at night with the Rick Clun Lucky Strike Spinnerbait with the white chartreuse skirt. So a lot of guys, and Tactical Bass is one of these people, they like the white chartreuse, same thing you throw in the day. And I've caught some fish, some good fish on a white spinnerbait at night, double willow. Full moon, I will throw a double willow with nickel blades quite a bit, especially uh, in really deep water. Don't ask why, but they eat it. Or around lighted boat docks. Let's see. What's up, John D? I have fished the Jaywalker 120. It's a pretty cool bait. Uh, I got a buddy that's actually catching them on it right now. Uh, for the money, it's a really good topwater bait. You know, Of course, that's made by Berkeley, so... Hey man, I didn't want to embarrass you, Cole, um, but uh, I think a lot of you guys and I'm really excited. You just, I'm gonna have to hit that PO box up. I got all kinds of, of, of clothes. You just gotta let me know if it's a B or a G. Make sure to visit that race. Yeah, dude, I want to go to the Ironman 55 next year. Uh, I've heard so many good things about Peebley, uh, Missouri, the racetrack. Oh man. So. Bait man, have a gill swim bait. Anybody fish it? Uh, I don't have a bull gill. Um, I do have a few gill style swim baits. Uh, dude, the Jackal Gantrel for the money is one of the best bluegill swim baits out there. So We're not going to make another one. I'm going to just be honest with you. Bait girl and bait man junior is all that's happening. No, not happening. Uh, proper procedures have been took in place to make sure that's hap happening. So, and if you see me go ghost for like four days in November, you know why. So, you see that new Spro top water? Holy smoke, Steve Miller! I'm not gonna spoil it, but it's gonna play. Thank you so much, Steve, for that 50 50. I repeat myself, a $50 make you holla at 10 o'clock at night. Steve, I appreciate you, my man. Uh, chat's getting out of control tonight. And uh, we all got almost 400 viewers. Uh, been on here for about two hours. I have got to take a bathroom break here in just a minute. But I'll answer a few more questions. Uh, people in Missouri, home of Dunn Sporting Goods. Done Sporting Goods, uh, great uh, store. Uh, had, used to have one in Paducah. Uh, unfortunately, the, the second ownership it come out with uh, just quite couldn't keep it under control. Imperial, Missouri. Have yet to visit. Not a big slot sprint car race fan, but I'm sure it's fun. Dude, it's all good. People in Missouri, uh, yeah, I've seen that. Uh, again, Steve Miller, really appreciate that. We're almost to 400 viewers, 396 right now, guys. Smash the like button for me. Um, whoa. Okay. My Instagram's going crazy right now. Uh, I'll have to look at that later. Um, I need to get Bait Junior on here. Um... I have to use the bathroom. Don't want. 
I will get bait Junior some bait so he can show you guys. I, uh, no, I'm not going to do any deer hunting this fall. I'm going to try to dedicate more this fall to content on this channel. And I'm working with Mark Menendez on his TV show. And to be honest with you guys, I'm just not going to have time. Um, I don't want this to sound rude or condescending, but after filming deer hunting for several years, it just don't excite me anymore. I, I guess I've seen these big 150, 170 inch deer and been with people who passed them up because they wanted to kill something bigger and it just burned me out. I'm like, dude, eat the thing. I mean, yeah, if you want to hunt a big deer, great. With big antlers, great, but eat it, you know? So, 404 viewers for Tom Milks. Oh my goodness. 405, we're climbing. I have got to go use the bathroom. This happens. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Be right back. this one. Um. Yeah, Mom. Huh. Mm. I mean, we get the rattle. I mean, I'll show you that guys. The mouse that I got, which is really cool. You can see this stick. You can put the tail on here. And here's what it looks like on here. On the show. Um, so that moves. Got a little rattle. Really fun. Loud. Have you shown them any new baits? Have you shown them any baits? Mm -hmm. Or are you just staring at the camera? Alright. Uh, Come out over here so I can get in. I'm gonna be, uh, they're going to tell me if you showed them any baits or not. Holy smokes. Brooks, come on here. We went from 405 down to 399. All right, I'm back. Uh, have not fished the jackal riser bait. I had to get me something to drink too. Uh, this is my, I'm starting to, I'll have to get some Gatorade when I stream now. I gotta get them electrolytes going on. Wait, I just found something. Can you read the chat? Yep. What's it's that it. say? This kid it's is so cool. Do you really think you're cool? Yeah. Yeah, I do too. All right, free raffle. What'd you give away? Did you give away some baits? No. Nope. You sure? No. Mm, I don't know. Someone said you should have rearranged all the baits. So, did you show off a big rat? Yeah. Oh yeah, you guys. You know, uh, big nasty, big nasty baits over on Instagram. Sent bait junior a big old purple rat. Do you have a rod big enough to throw that? Does Daddy have a rod rod big enough for that? Probably. Probably. It's a big rat. I like that purple black. Night fishing, right ba rat baits at night. Yeah, dude. Nasty. How's this fish gonna Can y'all hear that? And it walks back and forth. I love this sound. That old wood. That's why I showed them. It's what you showed them. Good job. Just show him this well, little. Like, just show him the spinnerbait too. 
this purple one spider bait? Um, um, so, so you, where did the fish bite the, the mouse from? The bottom? It's all uh, the mouse, the rat, Brooks. Bait Junior got bait questions. I gotta answer his, right? So the rat walks on top of the water, dude. It goes like this right here. You see how those joints are? Yeah. It goes back and forth and on top of the water real slowly. The mm -hmm. joint makes water. And you put hooks down here and poof, he eats it. What is, what's that noise? It sounds like a dog in our garbage can. Go check that out. Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, bait man, you seen the darter bait that kind of has the curve in it? I don't. Whoa. Oh. oh, you gave away all my flat A's? No. Are you sure? No. Oh, you're not. All right, uh, let's see here. I'm going to answer a few more question, questions. I was, I was about to show it, but... 410 it's viewers. 410. Good, good, good. Do you know that's almost half of a thousand? You know what half of a thousand is? What? 500. So if 10 minus 5 is 5, a thousand minus 500 mm -hmm. is 500. Oh, and you gave a vixen. So, best small crankbait ever. Bandit won it 100 or 200. Woo! I'd hate to argue against a Bandit 200. It has caught so many fish. Uh, I would say a Rebel Deep We Are is really close. Then the Bandit 200. Suppose it's small body. You gotta sh shut that. Oh. Uh -oh. I see something right there. I see something right there. Uh, bait man. Bait Man Junior's mom said, "You have to go to bed. It's your bedtime." Why? Hmm. Well, well, dude, it's like ten o'clock. I need a bigger topwater rat trap. So, what's the in Instagram for the rat? It's uh, Chris. I'll type it. See that I need to sign in. Uh, okay. Uh, it's at Big Nasty Baits. Um. That's the Instagram. I have to type it in on regular um, internet browser, unfortunately. Do you throw the Bandit 200 much? Yes, I throw the Bandit 200 quite a bit. It's a great springtime, one of my favorite springtime cranks. Uh, and there, there's a time in the fall where they start keying in those really small shad as they start migrating to the back and I like hitting those small secondary points and stuff with the Bandit 200. Like if I'm not catching anything, you can tie a Bandit 200 on, you'll get a bite from something. Um, St. Chris, what's your favorite six cents plastic in which color? Uh, this one right here, I've told you guys, this is my favorite six cents plastic at the moment and my favorite color. Uh, it is the Stroker Craw in Melon Dust. It goes with so many different colors that I can get that watermelon color out of it, but you see it's kind of got that magic craw touch to it. So I can put it on a jig that's got a watermelon or a green pumpkin or a magic craw. Yeah, dude, 50 bucks. What do you say? Make it holler. $50, make Big Junior holla. Appreciate that, Steve Miller. So, that's my favorite plastic from Six Cents right now is the Stroker Crawl, uh, especially in that color right there. That's melon dust. Number two would actually be, um, I'm gonna go with the Shaky Worm and Plum, the Seven Three Shaky Worm and Plum, and then the Clout Five Four um, in the same color. I love the Divine Swim Bait too. It's a great uh, swim jig trailer. But the Stroker Craw is so versatile, man. Mm. Bait man, you know anything about the Jika rig? I've been trying it out a bit. I've never thrown it. It's kind of like a Tokyo rig without that metal leader. Um, um, it's very similar to like a free rig, but. It is basically the Tokyo rig without the crazy name. So Alex Rudd did a great video on it. So you remember those oldlers that had a string attached to the line? Yes, uh, I've got one. Um, it was kind of a made-for-TV deal. Uh, I want to say Chuck Woolery or something like that. That was his big 
big lure. So, what's up, Caleb Morgan? You were late. Uh, we got 430 people on here right now. That's crazy. The moto lure, yep. Yep, shaky worm, gill dust, man, that's a good color. I like the plum color. Uh, and I like the sprayed grass one, so. Was there a chat with Swifty White? Yes, I have flipped and pitched the stroker craw uh, on the back of a jig. I actually have a video where I actually caught a few fish, good ones, on that. Um, but you can, yes. So, like, I thought in the background of the chat, I thought it's supposed to be, like, white in the background. This is what they see on the TV, bud. Oh. Yeah, this is what they see on YouTube. I got a new program. You got a new program. Now when people make donations, you know, how like you watch the YouTube streamers and they're doing Call of Duty and someone donates and uh, animation pops up. Yeah, I got animations now. Yeah. Maybe when we watch it back on Xbox, you'll see it. So, uh, I put the divine on my spinners. Yes, the divine is good on spinnerbait too. It, it, the divine swim bait's very versatile. So that's one thing I like about the six inch plastic. They're all pretty versatile. Like the prawn is probably the least diverse out of the group. It's basically your beaver style flipping bait. So you can flip it, working. punch it, and put it on the back of the jig. You know, it's not gonna. I don't think you want to wacky rig it or anything. So. So you was working on this on your laptop. Yes, while you were playing Call of Duty, I was working on putting this stuff on. I'm going to give the people who put razor blades and candy, I'm going to give those evil people river sea hooks and brownies. It's not nice, William. I won't do that. I don't want to do that. All right. Uh, surprise you don't have a bush latte in your hand. Thanks for the Saturday night live stream. So, a lot of people don't realize this. Uh, I don't drink very often. I drink one time on the stream, and that's the only alcohol I've had in probably eight months i just i'm just not a drinker kind of guy did you, so. did you even did you stream at our old house i did stream at the old house but not on this stuff i used to cell phone remember we streamed in the kitchen on the kitchen table mm. yeah so anyway uh i am going to get off here we got 430 viewers And we, he's got to go to bed. I've got to make a thumbnail. You want to make a thumbnail with me? Yeah. Okay. In your white tee. You even got, yeah. You got a white t-shirt on. You got a hat with the tag on. Come on, Eminem. <laughs> tag off them. Anyway. I think I'm going to jump off here, here to the night. Uh, we're going to do a giveaway. But what I want to know. I know, man. 432. You'd think, man, keep on going. But. Uh, I'm just going to soak it in. And I appreciate you guys smashing the like button for me. Uh, do me a favor. If you're part of the 430 people watching and you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that button. We're trying to hit 15,000 subs before the end of September. And we hope to have 16,000 before the end of the year. So, I'm going to have to do my part and make content. All I ask for you guys is smash the like button um, and share. So, anyways, uh, thank you guys so much. Bateman Jr., what do you guys say? Bye. <laughs> God bless each and every one of you. You guys have a great 